Jill, we're here at the Orange Bowl for the season opener of the 2023 Fredonia Hillbillies football season facing the Randolph Cardinals. I'm Shannon Davis, along my side is Pat Mahaney, and it is football weather and football season once again, Pat. Oh yeah, it's good to be down at the Orange Bowl on a Saturday night watching a couple big time programs fight it out tonight. Absolutely. Uh, Cardinals are back-to-back -back Section 6 Class D champions, and Fredonia Hillbillies are back-to-back -back Section 6 Class C runner-ups, which is a little bit of a dirty taste in your mouth, but two great seasons by two great programs, and, and a ton of talent has left these two programs in the last two years, Pat. If you look, the Fredonia Hillbillies currently have eight football players, alumni playing college football, the, uh, the Cardinals had two, including going to Division II, Huntington and Alexander Hine playing out in Mount Union. So they had two guys going on to play college football last year too. So it's an outstanding accomplishment by these two coaching staffs and players. Yeah, well it just shows where both these programs are. Um, you got talent coming through. So that means there's gonna be talent coming up as well. And I'm excited to see these juniors and sophomores coming back. To, to see what they got tonight. You know, they have a little salty taste in their mouth losing last year. So uh, they it's their season now, these seniors, so let's see what they got to do tonight. 
Yeah, and absolutely. You know, Tristan Farnham's replacing Xander Hine at running back for the Cardinals. Uh, but I've heard nothing but good things about him. You didn't really see him much last year because if you watch any Cardinal football, it was Hine, Hine, Hine. Mm -hmm, and not mm -hmm. that he didn't deserve it. Back to back years, Connolly Cup nomination. And going on to play at Mount Union with Division Three yeah, powerhouses. Absolute powerhouse, yeah, a lot of good football out there. It's an amazing program, amazing facility. And they got a new quarterback as well in a Morrison. And that's a common name down in Randolph. But it, you're going to see him bring the option back a little bit with Morrison. Last year they got away from the option. The quarterback that they had last year couldn't really run it as well. So expect to see a lot of option. And for the Fredonia Hillbillies, again, you lost multiple college football players. Ethan Fry is on playing to prep school. Micah Davis is at Utica. Matt Cash is at Morrisville. Keegan Whitfield and Jay Hawk are both playing at um, Boss State. So th that's a lot, but you also have a ton of talent coming yeah. back. Starting with Sammy Etzrot and, and Owen Rush. Two powerhouse football players, all sorts of recognition. You got Jamison Quinn, outstanding receiver, leading receiver coming back. Simon Price, three-year starter in the line, also coming back. So you got a lot of, oh, and don't forget Ian Story. You know, his third year starting or playing varsity, and he's only a junior. So the, the line is back, minus Matt Cash, and that's going to be the heart and soul of this team once again. Yeah, and uh, you can't forget to get in the chance for the Hillbillies at quarterback. Um, we'll see what he can do. Davi White, Davi, Davi White, White and I, and excuse, thanks for reminding me. Davi White came on really strong last year. Yeah. First year back in Fredonia, first year playing football in a few years. And uh, he really came on at linebacker and just played outstanding. And towards the end of the season, he really contributed on the offense and as a receiver um, and backup running back a little bit too. And uh, he had one of the biggest catches of the year in Medina for the game winning catch, the game that clinched Fredonia making it to the mm -hmm. stadium. So he's got tough shoes to fill. Yeah, he got Nick Whitfield and then Ethan Fry. I, and I, he's not either one of those, but he's no slouch himself either. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he can do. He's an all-around athlete. I like, you know, he's a great basketball player as well. You know, I got to watch him a little bit last year on the court. So I'm excited to see what he can do under yeah. center. Yeah. Or I should say shotgun. Yeah, absolutely. He had a great <laughs> basketball season last year. Uh, let's see, kicking off for of Randolph, looks like number one, Griffin Nelson. Back to return for the Hillbillies is number five, Jamison Quinn. And it looks like number 21, and I believe, I gotta learn some of the new numbers, but I believe that's gonna be Luca Gullo. Yep, Luca Gullo, 21. Yep. I do. Carrying on his cousin's number, there going back go. to Dom Gullo, another Fredonia great. And uh, yeah, it looks like a couple fresh jerseys out there to start the season. Yeah, absolutely. Shady, we it's got new the, jerseys. the slick black with the orange letters, and the Cardinals look pretty good as well with the fresh white unis on. Yeah, absolutely. What what a great first C game matchup. Honestly, they should have been playing this game first of the last few years with mm -hmm. the great seasons yeah, have been exactly. going through. It's a non-league game again. Randolph is Class D. Fredonia is Class C. But that doesn't mean anything right now in this field. You're going to see two powerhouse teams going at it. But you're also probably going to see a little sloppiness. Again, Randolph, there's no scrimmage anymore like there used to be. Mm -hmm. So this is the first live action both teams are going to face with a lot of new starters at, at both position, at both sides at key positions. And here we go, opening kickoff. Ends up to Luca Gullo field around the eight-yard line. And he's met rather rudely right around the 25. Good coverage there by the Cardinals. Yeah, a lot of white helmets there. They had a little bit of a swim style kick. And uh, Luca Gullo grabbed it off the one bounce. And it's nice to see Luca Gullo back with the program. He took his sophomore year off, but he's back now as a junior. And is going to get some key snaps, I'm sure, both offensively and defensively this year for the Hillbillies. All right. There we go, new look offense minus the line. There's only one starter not returning. I think Ian Story is gonna pop out to catch the spot at tackle, um, but everyone else is the same. You have Colin Kroll taking Cash's spot. Yeah. But all new backfield here. You got Davi White and Sammy Atzrod in the backfield. And here we go. Motion by Gullo start. Oh, bad snap right away. And Randolph is gonna have it. So there's that sloppiness we talked about, Pat. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't ready for the snap. He was looking out towards his rod receiver. 
and Simon Price snapped it. But that's just some growing. You know, with the new quarterback, uh, a returning start at center, there's going to be some growing pains, but they'll have to work and get this uh, going. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I guess I shouldn't have said bad snap because it hit Davi right in the shoulder, but Davi, like you said, wasn't expecting yeah, it. Yeah, just so. a little miscommunication yeah. with this with this high, um, you know, pretty impressive style spread that Fredonia runs. There's a lot of different moving parts to it. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. Here we go. New quarterback Jackson Morrison and running back Tristan Farnham the deep back and it goes right to Farnham. Nice hole off the left side and nice gain. Tackle by number 20, Sam Atra. Who else? Leading tackler returning from last year with 20 sacks coming back. And Jamison Quinn starting at safety this year, moving over from corner to safety um, in on the tackle as well, but nice gain of seven. Yeah, I'm excited to watch uh, Jamison Quinn play this year. He's a uh, good athlete he's had some good seasons on varsity so coming back for his senior year it's gonna be good to watch him oh flag here looks like Fredonia might have jumped off sides on the hard count now and it is gonna be off sides on Fredonia and that should be close I think it's gonna be a first down based on the yardage not automatic but based on the five yard penalty yeah and back to Jamison Quinn he had an ex exceptional junior season uh, you saw him with a key touchdown at the stadium in the opening pregame film. Um, but he also played hurt all season long. And most of you didn't know, but his hip was a mess last year, and he played through it. Oh. And you can see that sloppiness continue back yeah. to back. Yeah, I did the game down and uh, watch Olean play. This is, it is Maple Grove, Faulkner, Casadega, and they got a new mascot this year. It's the Hurt. So they're the, the herd. herd. I like that. I yeah, like that a and, lot. and that's who Fredonia plays next week. Okay. Um, and they looked very, very tough th last week. I mean, that's three good football Perennial schools. Perennial program. Right, yeah, that's right. three. And guess that who I, their coach know. is? Good old Kurt Fisher from Maple Grove. Oh, of course. Multiple of course state titles, of absolutely. So you got twins right here. I, uh, Morrison under the myself. center. Yeah, no, outstanding. And Farnham at the deep back. Oh. Give it to the up back, number three. Brought down by seven as Peyton Glavy. But nice hole off that right side once again. Back to back plays. That was a touchdown saving tackle, actually. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the linebacker core, Peyton Glavy. Now, Davi White is in there right now. Um, and he's a returning linebacker as well. Davis and Cash graduating. But you, you know, you're going to wonder how many snaps Davi White's going to play at linebacker being the quarterback. Fry did the same thing. Woodfield did the same. They would mix in and out on defense. So you got new linebackers in there, and it's going to be a lot of tests on those guys this year. Once again, to the up back, but he's going nowhere this time. Good job by the D line. And number nine, Ben LeGros, senior, one of the new linebackers we're talking about, and he's going to be key. You know, he, he didn't get a lot of snaps last year, but big kid, tough kid, goes hard. Um, and it made a big tackle there. Yeah, and I recall he got some uh, some snaps at running back last year as yeah, well. Yeah, a little bit. So the, the Hillbillies and the coaching staff is definitely looking towards LeGros. So let's see who they... Yeah, and I know this coaching staff is always excited for the season to start. Oh, absolutely. And they, you know, they they want to get back to the stadium and finish it off this year. Option this time, Morrison keeps it, and he is going to score. No problem there. And that's the option we talked about in the pregame. And, you know, and honestly, if you look back last couple years, there's not many teams that run that anymore. Every team used to when you and I played, Pat. Of course. But it's, it's not something a lot of teams are familiar in defending, and it's not easy to do. Yeah, and they – and exactly. They got fooled there, the inside handoff to the fullback. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to fake the pitch, and he's going to go in for the touchdown. Randolph's going for two here. Split backs. Gives it to 25, and oh, no one's yeah. there. He's eaten up by 79, Ian Story. That, that D line's getting that's, sick of giving up. They're not used to getting pushed around out there. There's a yeah, lot of big guys out there. It takes a lot of pride. Tyler Coosdale, we didn't mention yet. Returning offensive line starter as well for the Hillbillies. Yeah, with that option out there, it's going to be tough for uh, the linebackers. That's who's really going to have to play a role. You said these new linebackers out there, it's going to be real important for them. 
keep an eye on that ball. Well, you got to trust your teammates, right? You have and as quarterback, outside linebacker, as pitch man, and you gotta stay true to that. Oh, yeah. You can't think you're gonna go make a play because now there's someone wide open, whether it's the quarterback or tailback. So you really gotta be disciplined. So quick score after the opening snap turnover for Randolph, they capitalize up six nothing early, 9-14 in the first quarter, and they're gonna be once again kicking off. Quinn and Gullo, the deep guys. Is number three, Mike Ball up front, and a, is that seven, maybe Peyton Glavy? No, that's not seven. Might be Could one. be one, Tim Field. Yup, yup, that's a one. And Tim Field has some key offensive snaps last year. Another player looking to really step up his senior year. Yeah, this nice is gonna soft. go to Quinn, back around the 10 yard line. Gets through the first couple blockers and brings it out close to the 30 yard line, but it takes a big hit there. And we're gonna see a lot of that tonight against these two teams. So now if you're the Hillbillies, Pat, you gotta take a breath. It's not the start you anticipated all summer long and all those weight room and uh, passing league practices. And, uh, you don't think you're gonna imagine fumbling the first snap. Yeah. It's, not, what, it's not what you wanted, but no. guess what? You have the rest of the game to turn it around right now. So this is a new series, new start. Let's get it going. As the great Ted Lasso said, be a goldfish. There you go, White takes it. He's looking, quick pass here. Hits yep. Quinn. Quinn can't quite get away. That's a nice tackle, because if that isn't me, that's number three. Uh, Maverick Adams, I believe that was three. He's listed a linebacker, he's lined up outside, so. If it wasn't him, I apologize, but that's, that's a uh, nice tackle out there. Yeah, Fredonia's bread and butter, a quick little five-yard five, five yard hitch. Works every time. Game of nine, second and one, and now, you, you you know, playbook is wide open here in second down. Once again, White drops back the pass, nothing there. He's going to take off, and let's, depending on the spot, he's going to be right around that 40-yard line, and if they where, see if it touches the line, I think it's the first. And I think, yeah, that's going to be a first down. The point of the football is touch, and it, it is. Up. Hillbilly's first first down. So White didn't like what he saw, took off. And great job by the linebackers closing, though. That hole closed up quickly. White barely got that yard for the first. That's right, is lined up directly behind White this time. Real tight. And Atzrock gets his first carry running hard. Breaks through his first tackle. Breaks the second tackle. Oh, and there's a flag. That's got to be a face bag or something at the end, right? Or holding downfield. But yep. well, wow, I mean, Atzrock was hit by 25. Connor Braley and ran right through that first tackle. Yeah. It's going to be a hold downfield. Nope, looks like it oh, was, face, looks like it was a face mess. mess. Yeah, Ezra got up, you can see him here at the end. He gets up a little heated because he knows he got hit with the face mask. Yep, right. Oh, that wasn't much, man. He didn't grab it or anything. I'm a little surprised wasn't they called much, that. but they did call it. They just didn't grab it at all, but hey, the Hillbillies will take it. Back-to-back -back first downs now for the Hillbillies. Ezra gets the carry once again. Tripped up by 29. That is, help me out here. Who do we got? Not seeing the 29. No, 29 on a roster, all right. Uh, we'll go with uh, maybe 25. Oh, 25. My eyes are getting old. Connor Braley, 25. Okay. Long hair, definitely had the longer hair, I think. On the mm, that's 23 with the longer okay, hair. Okay, 23. Yeah, I noticed that. him right away. You know, yeah, of course you did, Pat. That's uh, Dominic Clark. Going right back to Atzrot. Yeah, they're gonna get a heavy gonna be dose. Third of and short here, yeah, absolutely. And and we all saw how great Sammy Atzrat was on defense last year. He's a dog on defense. Now he's got to handle being the dog on offense and defense, and that's gonna be and, and same with Davi White. Both players did such a great job, of primarily playing one way, and that's that's a big difference. You know, ask ask the Lotters and the Davises that have done that the last couple of years. And it's, it really wears on your body. So Absolutely. not that these two aren't big and up to the task, but it's different. Lead running play by Davi White. He's got a first down, and he's going to have the touchdown. 
the Fredonia Hillies first touchdown of the 2023 season. Tommy White runs for about 20 yards. Yeah, I like what he saw there. He saw some open field. He picked up the burners and he ran towards that pylon. And, and, and these two runners, White and Etrot, are very different style runners. They're big boys. They're big year. boys. They don't. It, it, Etrot ran 4 7 over the summer, too. So he's big and fast, That's, which is a deadly combo. Yeah, I love that. On, oh, fumble snap. Fumble snap. Quinn's going to run it. Nothing there, and he's going nowhere. So the score will remain 6 6. And I didn't get to mention our new kickers. That was number 10, H. Kansky, out there for her, his first um, extra point attempt. We got, you know, we. That's the only thing we lost last year. Lost Sal to Bone and um, help me out. Our other kicker. Starts with the A. Yeah. I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> My bad. But either way, two great soccer players this year. You have Shikansky in kicking. You have uh, Domenico in there as well playing football as well as soccer, which really helps and is a real weapon as we've seen the last couple of years with such great success on the extra points. Yeah, they uh, fumbled the hold there. They had to fire play, but uh, Randolph was all over it there. So you see two different techniques where Randolph goes for two and doesn't get it, and the Hillbillies decide to kick it, and they don't get it, and uh, we got ourselves a tie ball game. Yeah, and Hillbillies will primarily kick it. That's, that's They've done that, and I think Randolph primarily goes for it, which, you know, if you don't have a kicker, then you've got to. But that kicker, when you get an automatic kicker like that, you know, those points are automatic throughout the year. Sal Tabone had a great junior and season, yeah, junior, he was or senior season the last couple of years. Kicking off for the Hillbillies now, Aiden Shikansky, his first kickoff again. First year playing football, as well as soccer. And the crowd is cheering them on here. Uh, they're just excited to be here as we are, Shannon. Absolutely. Yeah, Randolph has a decent amount of Oh, Ooh, I think guys. Uh, yep. Randolph travels well. You know, when you're a powerhouse like that, oh, they're going to bring the fans as well. I parked out back and I saw a slew of red shirts coming in, parking out by Wheelock. And you knew it was football season, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can see he almost like did a double hitch right before he kicked it, and uh, there the Fredonia Hillbillies uh, were a little offsides. Yeah, and the, and these special team players, they're just hungry to get down that field, and it's all timing and, and learning to work together, really. Right, so, so far, third phase of the game is playing uh, kind of a huge role. Once again, it's part of that first first game. No prac no scrimmage, getting it all together. Absolutely. And Skansky gets the kick off. It's to number two, right around the 20 yard line. And he's hit hard there. Was able to fall forward. Nice return. I think that was number nine for Fredonia, Ben Legro on the tackle. Uh, that was two. Christian Farnham. Uh, the running, running back. back. Yep, yeah, yep, the, the running return. back on the return. So Again, yeah, it is 23 that, that made that tackle that I thought was 29 uh, earlier. Yeah, you can play. see the hair kind of covers up where the nine would close in. So yeah, give, me, give, me, give me a break here, a little bit of slack. Yeah, and that's uh, Dominic Clark. He plays uh, wide out on the offensive side. All right, see if the Cardinal offense can uh, answer the Fredoni offense. Back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. Yeah, takes a snap, hand out to Farnham, and he's met there by Ian Story. A couple big plays in a row. Yeah. Story was in on the two-point conversion. Yeah, he's, he's hungry there. tonight. He's playing with some energy. I like to see it out there. Yeah, he he competes out there and gives 190%. Came up as a freshman late in the season. It was instrumental in, in playoff, early on playoffs. This, you know, I played JV all year long and got a lot of key snaps and started both ways as a sophomore last year and had a great year. And it looks like he's even lining up. He, he, he's traditionally he's been off. D line. Yeah, he's, he's, line off, he's off the linebacker. ball. He's looking like he's Rowan playing middle. It's story. I playing middle linebacker right now. Glavy and White playing outside. Quinn at safety. Uh, Option here. Good job. Oh, there. Ball's out. 
Oh, and it looks like Quarter might. He was grabbing his leg. Is he all right? Okay, he's got enough. Dig it up. Dig yeah, it up. And as he uh, runs off, actually, he runs off the field to get the play. I know uh, some other colleagues of ours doesn't always enjoy that one. <laughs> but. And that's Bryce Bacher was just in for Sammy Athrock, giving him a little breather. And that's going to be key, especially early on in the season, building up that conditioning. You you know, when you're out there on the specials, offense and defense, and yeah. it's humid time. I mean, it's oh. sticky in this box up here. Yeah, that's right. Running on, running on the so, field to play DM yeah. last second. He's going to be rushing hard Third on a pass. Third and long here. And there is a pass. That's there right. It wasn't even blocked. Great coverage there by Ben LeGrove. And that's the last guy in the world you want to leave on block is Sammy Atzrock. Yeah, he was right in the he was right in Morrison's face when he made that throw. He wasn't able to get all of it on it, and he throws it short. And uh, number nine was all ben over Le Ben Grow. Yeah. He almost had a pick, but he was able to uh, deflect it as the pass pass deflection. Great and defensive series. There. Yeah, they were all over the run. They were all over that option play there. They're stuffing the holes. You know, Story was in on a couple. Legro was in on a couple, so they're out there playing good football. Jackson Morrison back to they, punt. They will Number punt. Jamison Quinn and now Luca Gullows joining him late. You got a guy on cover. Gullows coming back up. Good job by Davi White screaming for help. Low punt here. Could be a chance to return. Quinn catches it right around the 37. Breaks his first tackle, but can't get around the corner. Good field position for the Hillbilly so it's going to be right around the 43 yards line. Yeah, and Quinn liked that return. He broke a tackle. He got out to the outside, got about close to 10 yards, I'd say. So he he's getting it going out there. He's pumping up the teammates. Let's see what the Hillbillies can do on offense here. Sending Peyton. another receiver in. Yeah, Peyton Glavey going in an offense. Again, started outside linebacker last year as a junior. Didn't see many snaps at all. Calling off Sammy Etzra. Looks like they'll have a, an extra receiver in. So let's see. We haven't really announced the starting receivers. You got yeah. 11 mm -hmm. out wide. Michael Hahn. Oh, and I know him from the basketball court as well. Yeah, it's seven Glavy now. He might be lined up legally. If you, it almost looks like they're both on the line there. They got away with it though. They get to the inside uh, Gives hand it off. to Luca Gullo. It's gonna be a change of pace Luka back Gullo for sure for Fredonia. And he runs a little bit more like Davis did last year. Smaller back with speed. Gullo's calling for a sub. He had a real nice <laughs> um, freshman year on JV at running back. That's right back in. And they got uh, Feld out there as well, number one, and he yep. got a decent amount of snaps last year in the slot. Yes, so he did. I, I, I think big catches at times, oh, yeah. too. And, of course, Quinn on the far side all by himself. Yeah, you got to be looking at him all day. No safety help for that corner. Maybe a post here to Quinn. And that's what, oh, that was a hitch. It wasn't there, and White is going to go down for the sack. So he was definitely looking at Quinn. Give the corner out there some credit. Yeah, I lost. believe that's is that 17. Telling Roland on the coverage did a nice job because Quinn is not an easy matchup one on one. Got some pretty good height out there on uh, Randolph. And couple, and couple big give guys. Give Randolph credit too. It's you know still by themselves. Class D, almost every school they play against are combined schools. Hand off to Ed's right here. Big hole on the right side. He's gonna have the first down. Love the call there. Love the confidence to give it to your running back. Right in the six hole. Absolutely, and I, I think you obviously at that point are deciding if you don't get it, you're probably going for it. So let's run the ball, and if you don't get it, fourth and short. Yeah, what I'm seeing a little bit on offense so far with White is uh, when he goes back in that shotgun, maybe taking it down a little too much, looking for the run instead of the pass. But we'll see yeah, and, and that's experience, That comes right? from learning. Yeah, yeah it comes absolutely. from playing. It, it's that panic a little bit. High snap, White keeps it this time, breaks the first tackle. He's got space outside. Ooh, he's tripped up from behind, but another nice gain by White. Yeah, he broke that first tackle, and then he... You know, those big, those big wide, those big wide steps. You know, he's, a, 
the first yeah, round. Yeah, absolutely. And White's sneaky fast, too. He doesn't look it, but when he gets going in those long strides, yeah, well. he's no slouch himself. <laughs> yeah. When you're 6'2". Yeah, right? Each step covers a <laughs> lot more yards than my steps, that's for sure. First down for the Hillbillies. We're still in the first quarter. Let's catch his breath a little bit. Takes a snap, quick pass here out to Jamison Quinn. And that was a little off there. Quinn was open if he could have hit him, but incomplete, no harm, second and 10. Yeah, the incompletion doesn't hurt you there. Come back, second down. And uh, they're still working out their offense and who's coming in on each play, who's coming right. out on each play. So we'll, uh, it's like uh, we keep saying, it's a learning experience for the first game. Absolutely, you got Gullo, Han and one Tim Fields to the right, Quinn to the left. That's right behind White. Hand off to Atzra, but he's met the line of scrimmage. Nice play there by 25. Connor Braley, linebacker. Yeah, good open field tackle. Gave him a nice old bear hug and took him to the ground. Yeah, the first time they met, Atzra won the battle. Second yeah. time, Braley. So it's one to one right now. And it's a They'll keep, I'm sure they'll meet again before this game's over. I've noticed a little bit, and this is not a criticism at all, but when you're in on defense, you're playing quarterback, you're running the ball, you're throwing, you got, you keep seeing Davi's taking some deep breaths, he's trying to slow it down a little bit. It, it, it's hard, especially your first yeah. game is conditioning, the, the energy, the, you're just, you're just going wild for this game, and next thing you know, you're like, you can't control your breathing. Hand off to Atzra, right up the middle, breaks, doesn't quite get through. I'll call that a tie with Braley on that one. <laughs> Atzra fell forward, but Braley held on in 23. Dom Clark helped finish him off. Yeah, well, it's not a bad thing for uh, White to be using that time clock for him as no, well. Use absolutely. those seconds while you got him. Um, and they're gonna be going for it here on fourth down. They about fourth and five. Big down for both teams here. 6'6", six, six, 40 seconds in the first that, quarter. Watch uh, that slot slant. Oh, and Luca Gullo, they went with the hard count and Fredonia jumped off. So now you're gonna, have, you're gonna be fourth and about 10 now. But I still think you have to go for it where you are. You're I not gonna kick a field goal, I wouldn't imagine. And you're definitely not punting from this distance. But as a coach, that's frustrating. As a wide receiver, just watch the ball. Don't listen to the count. Just watch the ball. Yeah, that's a tough one as a receiver. Yeah. And they uh, change up the play here as well. Yep. So we'll see Trips what, right. See what Coach Matt Falvino draws up here. Again, Quinn's all alone here in the left. Look for him. Maybe a shot deep to Quinn to the left, and that's exactly what they're doing. White's got him. And oh. Quinn's got it. Very throw and catch. White to Quinn. Oh, he hit him with the gritty, too. Yeah. But yeah, Quinn had a great double move. He hit him with the double move hitch, and Davi White led him perfectly right to the end zone, hit him with the fingertips. Yeah, and I don't know if you're Randolph, you're going to continue this one on one. You can see this double move right here. Yeah. Great pocket there to throw in. Great throw. Good job by Quinn. Keeping the defender away from the ball. Easy throw and catch. At least they make it look easy. Yeah, that was a really nice throw. Yes, it was. Making a score and 12. And it looks like they're going to be going for two to get that extra. Oh. A little timeout. A little confusion on what they were going to do there. And they will take a timeout. But So after that first botch snap, Throwing a hillbilly offense is hitting on all cylinders. Yeah, absolutely. They had to. They had to come out. Play some football. <laughs> and uh, what happened, I think, there was they were going to go for two to get that, that point back, and uh, Randolph had the special teams out on the field. Oh, did Randolph end up calling the timeout? I thought Fredoni did because they didn't have the right personnel. In. Not sure. <laughs> Because uh, Fredonia still was subbing well, after. Fredonia was trying to go for two there. Yeah, I but know. I don't know if they had the right players in mm -hmm. because I think guys kind of forgot they were going for two. No way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, they're, they're taking a little 
play from the NFL then, not doing the scrimmage and the extra. Yeah, they've been doing it the last three years to get an extra game in that way, an extra non-league game. Okay. You know, and wisely they're doing a non-league game in week one. So you lose, it really doesn't hurt you mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form. Obviously, no nice one wants for, to lose. But nice for both teams to be able to play non-league games. See how you match up against other good teams in the area. Uh, they got the, and they will go for two. Yep. And it's a lead play. White's going to run it, and he, he got dives it. in, just getting the nose of the ball across. Good job by Davi White extending that play to make the score 14-6 to with six seconds left in the first quarter. So no disappointment so far. Oh, look at that block by Antsrock. Completely knocking Braley 25. We talk about that battle, and I don't think you saw it in the replay but he knocked the linebacker back two, three yards, and that's what allowed White to dive into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So we got 14-6, looks like uh, the Cardinals are gonna have to come back, try to get a couple first downs, keep this game close. Because Fredonia's uh, gonna just keep wanting to rack it up here. Their offense is hot now. And uh, they got Dobby White's feeling it right now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, he's, he's really coming on. and It's been impressive, really. It's his first game playing quarterback in a, in a long time. I know he played some quarterback for midget football for Dunkirk back in the day. But he has not seen too many quarterback snaps, and he is showing very little rust tonight. Aiden Shikansky kicking off, kicks it deep to Farnham. Right around the 18-yard line, Farnham's waiting for his blocks to develop. Balls out, oh, balls out! Loose. And number eight scoops it up. That's Josh Thurber, and he is going to score! The scoop and score, Josh Thurber! Coming up with a big special teams touchdown. And that's going to get the hillbilly side going. You can see the replay pops out there. In on the tackle, it bounces about 10 yards forward. And Turber is about able to pick it up and run about 40 yards to the, to the house. He needs to tuck that ball away, though, Pat. <laughs> But, what in uh, a moment for Thurber. Yeah, really get the crowd going, and uh, Fredonia's going to go for one here, back yeah. to going for one. Aiden Shikansky's on to attempt. Who's holding this year? Hey, it's um, Jamison Quinn. Quinn down there holding. holding. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. Snap is good. Hold is down, and the kick is good. Aiden Shikansky's first career extra point. And all, all right. of a sudden, 21 to 6. 21 unanswered yeah. points by Fredonia. Right after I said the Cardinals need to come back with a good drive. Unfor an unfortunate fumble turns the wrong way and the, the Hillbillies get a touchdown. Now they really, really need to come back with a nice drive. Bobby is going to... I think they got uh, the right coaching staff over there to get their team. Sure I think we're still going to be in six seconds left. No, they... Oh, the extra, that's right, the kickoff, that's right. So that will be the end of the first quarter on that kickoff return. Again, you can see special teams, all these things, it seems so easy. You're on first team kickoff, you're on this, you're on that, you're second team, and the guys get excited, the energy, the nerves, they forget where to line up, and that's all kinks you got to get worked out here tonight yeah and it's stuff you go through, through uh, run throughs you know walk oh, you yeah. do these you do these before the game you go over the positions you go over where you're at but you know comes game town you get the flood bro and you want to cheer with your teammates and next thing you know you're supposed to be out on the yeah field. yeah <laughs> oh crap and they will be kicking off the opposite direction now so really strange serious events and yeah, you know, like you keep saying, first game of the year, you know, we got a couple fumbles, we got, you know, 
Got some flags out there, but Verdoni's making some good plays. In the student section. Yeah, Fredonia tends yeah. to represent well. They yeah. usually pick a theme every, the captains pick a theme every week, and the fans do a great they job with that wearing, theme. Uh, wearing black tonight. Yeah, and a lot, a lot of black handprints on the girls' legs and things. I don't know if that is some sort of meeting. I'm a little probably out of my uh, age limit right now to figure that out, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, not sure as well. Yeah, as Fields one more, senior, as, one, yeah. as one more guy runs out on the field, the yeah. coaches are down there yelling. But and, and guess who was the loudest? <laughs> as uh, some blue skies are breaking up down here, it's a beautiful yeah. night oh, here down at the time. Orange Bowl. Crowd once again is chanting eight in for the kicker, Aiden Shikansky. Kick goes to about the 17. Right back to Farnham, he's got a hole this time. Oh, it closes off. He looked like he was gonna gain some momentum. Tackled by Atzrot, Tim Field in there. It looks like maybe 58 as well. That would be Aiden Cotta. Aiden Cotta. The new number 58 this year. And he's right. a sophomore. Right. And he's uh, been playing a good amount of special teams. And this year, um, Remember that Ferroni is back to having a modified JV and varsity oh, team, which okay. is All outstanding. Right. For Excellent. one year, they had a 7, 8, 9 modified team and a 10, 11, 12 varsity team. So it was really nice to see the numbers back so up. There's going to be some, uh, not as many sophomores up this year. Yeah. I think you could play a few plays and still play JV. Okay, Hand well. off to Fartum here. Big hole. One guy to beat. And he can't quite get away, but big run for Farnham, and he's slow getting up. I think that was four. Jake Willey, senior, uh, making the tackle. Another, another player from last year who changed his number, but got some got some playing time last year. Yeah, it's nice to see Jake Willey earning a starting role this year. He's been part of the program for a long time. Farnham, yeah, Farnham shows some speed there on the outside. Absolutely. Once he got to the outside, you could tell he kicked it into his second gear. And uh, got about 40 yards on the play. Farnham's adjusting to be carrying the load here as running back. He had high last year. To the up back here, number three, Stump, still on his feet. Nice run, finished off by number three, Mike Ball. But that was three running it as well. Maverick Adams with a tough run yeah. from the fullback. Playing with the, the old full. neck collar. Yeah, I was, I was just going to mention the neck collar. Nice block You'll love there to by see that. You love to well. see that. You don't see it too often these days, but you know, Randolph played that smash mouth football. Yeah, that was a real nice pancake block by the lineman, 62, Gavin Stearns, the center. I've been uh, watching their right tackle, uh, number 71, Cameron Taylor. He's been doing a pretty nice job out there. Farnham on the carry, that that hole filled up quick. You had Ben Legro and... Farnham on the carry. Who else was in on that? He's getting up right now, limping a little. 55, maybe? That'd be Bryce Barker if it's 55. Yep, 55. I wonder if he's walking it off. He's yep, walking yep. it off. He's, he's again, he is, yeah. Barker is either sophomore or junior. He's a junior. junior. Um, 5'11, 240. Got a few, you know, special teams, few snaps to end when, when the Fredoni was up in the end and so on last year. And they're really looking him to step up at defensive end this year to uh, allow Rush to play in the middle more and story at linebacker, give Atzrod a break. Hand off here to 25, I believe. Ball oh, out. It's loose. Bye-bye. That is number three, Mike Ball coming up with it, returning it all the way to about the 21 yard line. Another key turnover by the Cardinals when they had a nice drive going. Grayley was in, and let's see who hit him. Glavy. That's Glavy in, and we saw Glavy call a number of key turnovers last year, including a big one in the stadium. Man, Mike Ball is showing some quickness there. Yeah, he, he was, was burning down the sidelines. He saw those, ends, his eyes are wide open for that end zone. But you love to see that. Yeah, you can actually see on that handoff, 
um, Morrison was not quite sure what side of who and who, what and side to hand off. Maybe Braley even went to the wrong side. And we don't know. Yep. He never quite had the ball, and the baby was able to get in there, popped out right to ball, and he was gone. And, and it's nice to see Fredonia so far. They got, they're really subbing a lot of different guys in, playing some key roles and making some big plays. White back and shotgun, looking through a quick throw here. This time, short pass is complete to win, maybe a gain of a couple. Yeah, and we see uh, Kevin Brown out there at the wideout, who uh, played a little role last year as well. Yeah, and, and Brown's a, Brownie's a junior. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and he's been around a long time, man. And uh, it at really six three. With the program. So you love to see that. Yeah, and, you know, maybe take a little bit of the Jay Hawk role as the season goes on last year. Where when it's out, throw it up to Hawk. This time it might be to Brown this year. Brown's getting the call. White's getting the call from the sidelines, taking their time, letting the line get set. Quinn in motion, give to Atzrot, hole up the middle. Nice gain on second down. It's gonna be third and short right around the 15 yard line. Yeah, I love the motion with the mixed direction. And uh, it, yeah, got a nice little gain. Comes up third down. Definitely two down territory here, but it's third and about three. Ball right on the 15. And if you're Randolph, you've got to come up with a stop here. You can't go down three touchdowns here early in the second quarter. Ezra makes a move, but can't get away. And oh, we got to, you know, Rush is slow to get up, but he prices over there to help his co-captain up on the line. And we have a first down and a timeout for the Cardinals. Coaching staff recognize how important it is to try to come up with a stop here as well. Call the timeout here early in the second quarter. Fredonia is down there, and their coaches are telling them right now that they need to punch this in to send this game to the next level. Oh, absolutely. You, you're, if you're the Hillbillies, you want to smell blood. You don't want to let a team like um, Randolph hang on and get any sort of momentum. They're, they're too good, too well coached for that. But, uh, you know, get this coaching staff and these players. The returning guys have had all sorts of experience the last two years. But there's a number of new guys out there, or Davi White especially, playing a new position and showing very little rust. You know, they're hitting the ground running in game one, and it's exactly what you want to see if you're the Fredonia coaching staff. Well, that, what helps a lot is this coaching staff does so much with this team all year long, so as much as they can. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a program these days. Yeah, absolutely in the weight room and with Coach um, Chad, Coach Mason, doing a great job and it carries over in all these practices. White looking for Quinn, Quinn once again. Oh! And Toe touch touchdown! <laughs> nice throw, nice catch once again by Jamison Quinn. Yeah, he brought that in like, like he knew what he was doing. Fingertips, toe tap for the touchdown. Watch this play here. Kept it up Great high. Throw. Looks like he, no, no, he never really bobbled it, I guess, because he was, that's a nice scout, because two was Ooh. high. Didn't bring yeah. it down, though. Yeah. He didn't bring it down. Barnum was all over that ball, but they gave it to him. You you know, NFL, that might have got reviewed. He never quite tucked he it. He had it up and high it, with the two feet in. Yeah, but you got to complete it, too, but that's a tough call in real time. Looks like I think it's eight and she can't see And it's a touchdown. For the extra point. And it is good. The score is surprising. 28 to 6. 28 unanswered points by Fredonia. And I think we're all a little bit stunned that this game is so one-sided all of a sudden. Yep, and that's back-to-back -back 
connections between Davi White and Jameson Quinn. So you love to see that. This big connection all year long. Absolutely. I mean, you got power running game. You got throwing. You got some finesse. They threw Luca Gullo in there for a carry. A little bit more speed and cutting. I mean, you have all different things that defense has to prepare for with this offense right now firing at all cylinders. Yeah. The offense is looking good right now. And uh, if you're Randolph, if you're coaching staff over there, you're telling them a lot of game left, a lot of game left. All we got to do is and Coach here. Quinn are talking about, did you catch that? <laughs> he I did. I, yeah, I did see that interaction. Yeah. But you know, as an offensive receiver, oh, Quinn, of course Quinn's, I call. Quinn's oh, yeah, saying I had he it. caught I had it. it. I, I mean, had of course it, he's saying he caught it. <laughs> And as an offensive guy myself, I thought it was a touchdown. <laughs> I think in the NFL that's reviewed. It's incomplete. Yeah, it's tough. But it does well, not Well, the matter. NFL now, you have to take it all the way yeah, to the ground yeah. now, where maybe in the past that might have been. Right, 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 right. Let's see. Shikansky's kicking off once again. And Randolph has to come up for the answer. There's plenty of time left. Still 8.29 in the first half. And Farnham's once again, got it the again. Farnham. Farnham makes a nice move there. Another, Another nice, nice move, move. cuts back, it's gonna be brought down, but great return about to the Hillbilly 38 yard line. So they, yeah. they've shown Spurs that just the turnovers have really killed Turn both like teams. Ball. Turnovers are definitely killing. And, and look at the points, Yeah, Randolph scored off the Fredoni turnover, yep. and the Hillbillies have at least have 21 off the turnover. Sure, yeah. so. so 28, 28 of the 35 points or 34 points today have been off a of turnover. So that's definitely been the tail of the tape so far. For, but, you know, if you're Randolph, you, yeah, obviously you want to come back and win this game. But if nothing else with the new quarterback and new running back and lost a key lineman, you want to settle down and, and get your offense going for league games next week. Hand off to Farnham here. He's brought down by Vachter. Story's a little slow getting up, but he's getting he's up. He's all right. <laughs> we'll see what Randolph comes out with here. I think they should uh, gain a stick to a little bit more of their misdirection option kind of way. Yeah, they kind of gone away from the option here. Um, you're right. This guy, but they're running these twins. They had twins left last time. Now it's twins right. He's all the way to the line out there. Yep, they were last time to the left. Hand out to, hand off to 25. Oh, wow. The spin move, and he is going to be gone in the touchdown. So it's just big play after big. That's Connor Braley, who on his last carry fumbled the ball, almost ran it back for a touchdown. Good job by the staff going back to Braley and, and give him another chance, and he made help to pay it off. Yeah, he's, he's uh, uh, trying to see his year. He's a junior. He's junior. Okay. Yeah. So he's also, you know, you're not getting many carries when you've had Alexander Hine in front of you the last few years. Yeah, so. he's a little bit of a bigger body. He got that the power eye going to the six hole off the tackle. He broke two tackles, did a little spin move, and then he broke it away for the touchdown. So Showed some breakaway speed, but he's coming in by yeah. 10, 175. So that's pretty, pretty that's big guy. Size, for, yeah. yeah, he's. Uh, and he's coming back out to play and you run, know, yeah. running back again out there with uh, Morrison at quarterback and uh, Maverick going Adams. for two here. Matt's Gave Adams. it to the up back and he is scoring untouched. Untouched. A little counter to the fullback up the middle. And that makes the score 28-14. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more if you're Randolph for that possession. Big return. Couple big runs, touchdown, two point conversion. Yeah, Randolph definitely needed that. The kick return was huge. Next thing you know, they break away a big play and they needed a touchdown to keep this game going. But there's still seven minutes and 30 seconds here in the second quarter. So yeah, Fredonia gets the ball back, just keep it staying hungry. Yeah, looking to score. Absolutely. And if you're Randolph, you got to get a stop. Nice job on the replay by Jackson Hickey back in the booth. Um, 72, David Malone on that replay. Made a great trap block, kicking that out and setting up that little counter there. So I love the old fullback Absolutely. Counter. You know, this Coach Brown and his staff is one of the best in Western New York, even one of the best in all New York State. Uh, just perennial powerhouse, multiple state champions. And, you know, they kind of, I wouldn't say they got upset, but Tioga in Section 4, who they lost, I think it was like 42-34. Tioga has open enrollment. 
back in section four. And they get all these school, like kids from even Binghamton, New York, which is a larger area, transferring to Tioga to wrestle and play football there. So they get these outs, I mean, they're an absolute powerhouse. They got a great program there, great facilities. I'm from section four, so that's, that's how I know a little bit. Delhi comes up against Section 4 every year. They're in the division, and uh, they're just an outstanding program. So here we are. Kickoff here. It's going to go into. They better hope that goes in the end zone. It does. You can't assume that, Peyton Clay, but you got to be running back there just in case. That ball makes and a funny bounce. That's a live ball. There, Absolutely. Like, that was going um, pretty good. It the was, end, but <laughs> you know, you never, you especially never in this know. field. You never, you <laughs> you'll never. I will say it looks it, nice, though. I was going to bring it, it up earlier. It does look really nice. They got today. the orange ball looking nice tonight. I, from my understanding, you know, I've been one of the biggest critics over the years. They've actually planted some grass seed this year mm -hmm. and filled in some holes. I saw some tree trimming down here. Uh, the, the, I don't know about the board, but I do know um, Lauer, the, Mr. Lauer, the uh, athletic, athletic director and superintendent, they, they're really trying to put an effort to upgrade the facilities. So I hope they continue to do that and get the support from the board. It really needs to happen. Yeah, because there's nothing like playing football down here at the Orange Bowl, that's for sure. Absolutely not. Atrot gets a nice hole, oh, nice, nice cut there. He's got the edge, and he's going to have a big carry brought down by Braley right around the 45-yard line. Nice run by Atra. Nice cut there. And Randolph actually got lucky there. Watch this move here. Whoop. Yep. And then he actually picks up a little speed, gets around to the outside. And that was, was Rowan, that Rowan, number 17, got real lucky. He was very close to the horse collar, but he let go. And Owen Rush sealed that edge. You can see it end up being a pancake block, taking this guy right to the end to set that run up. Nice job by the senior. Yeah, the Hillbillies line is playing very nice tonight. Quick slant to Quinn, falls incomplete. Look at Rush again, back to back pancake block. Oh, he said he was too small. He said he was too small. Did he small. yell that? <laughs> Uh, and, and that's yeah. not an easy matchup for 22. Owen yeah. Rush is a big, strong fella. He's put plenty of time in the weight room with Coach Mason and uh, really looking to, to get some looks at colleges this year, whether it's going to be football or baseball is going to be the question, not if he plays somewhere. It's what sport and where. What position does he play on the diamond? Uh, pitches, infielder. Navi White keeps it. He's still on his feet, but he's going nowhere. Braley is there, and White is down. It looks like he's holding his face. I think it might have gone into the turf a little bit, and he takes his helmet off. He's looks like a, like the helmet came into his face there. Yeah, the might have. Watch the You're replay here. You're going to see the replay here, fighting hard. See but Braley stays at, at with the him, end. and then, oh, that was a late hit right there. Helmet Night to number helmet three. as well. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's that a actually great job with pretty, the replay pretty, there. Pretty bad I, I heard people hit. yelling late hit, and I didn't live, I didn't notice it quite this bad, but that replay definitely he went right at his head too, and that's that's a dangerous play. You don't want to see that. They're trying to get that out of the game as well at every level, so you hate to see that. Yeah, White, White hopefully he's okay, and now who's the backup quarterback? You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a question for the last, well, not two years ago, because you had Fry behind Whitfield. But last last year it was the big question. What happens if Fry goes down? This year is what happens if White goes down, and he's out at least one play. How many? My guess, maybe. But, uh, hey, we got 108 people watching live. So all you out there watching, we really appreciate it. I know some of the alum is watching from afar. I think my boys are watching. All the grandparents out there. Uh, we really appreciate you tuning in and, and supporting Fredonia Access and our crew. Yeah, you love to see it. Beautiful night here at the Orange Bowl. Can't well, make it, might as well watch it on TV, am I right? Uh, yeah. I'm willing to bet Lauder and Whitfield and the boys are all watching. So, and Cortland had a big, big win over Delaware Valley. Yeah, they should was, be in on a Saturday night watching yeah. their alma mater. <laughs> But it, I believe Lauder's starting this year too as a sophomore on a national, I mean, the nationally ranked team in Cortland. So that's a real nice job for him 
Um, and they had a huge win. Delaware Valley was a playoff team last year, and they blew them out today. All right, looks like Jameson Quinn. Is and I knew they were going to do some wildcat type formations with yeah. Quinn. Yeah, so his gloves are off. Yeah. Um, so that brings in, you got four in there at receiver. Willie Fields, Atrot is lined out wide. Empty backfield here. I, I'm expecting some motion. It's third and 13. No motion, but a straight keeper by Quinn running up the middle. Nice job by Quinn and keeping his feet going, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I like the play call. I like the play call a lot. So I just saw White talking to Coach Sherlock that when the, the helmet hit, hit his helmet, that his chin strap almost like choked him a little bit. So I'd be so scary. Thought it was the face or the jaw. You can see he's still moving his jaw around a little bit. Yeah. That's gonna bring on the punt team. And Owen Rush isn't punting actually. He's been the Bryce Bacher's in. We saw him punt in Southwestern in that wild game last year, up 21 nothing. And Southwestern came back and took Fredoni into overtime. And Bacher had to come in because Rush was hurt in that game, along with half the rest of the line. Snap here to Bacher. Low line drive punt. Did not step up to catch it. Fields out of the bounce right around the 20. That's Farnham. Still on his feet, but he's met there. I think that's... That's Story. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think that's Ian Story. With a nice open field tackle by a D lineman. You, you know, you can't... <laughs> that's hard to do and hard yeah. to find. And White's going back out there on defense. So Kids making plays out there. That's good yeah, to see. I, I He's got to be all right. Knew White wouldn't be out for long. So big stop by the Cardinals. Absolutely right. They score. Now they got 529. If they can get back here and score before the half, they're right back in this game. So this is a real key possession here in the first half. That's right. Rush now it ends, so moving these guys all over the place. Farnham has a big hole off the left side. Still on his feet, Luca Gullo catching him from behind. Nice hole right up the middle. Yeah, Farnham's got some speed there, but also yeah, Luca Gullo showed some quickness yeah, to, yeah. to recover and catch him after a decent gain. You can see wide open hole there for Randolph. Yeah, here Farnham. Yeah. Who's holding that ball a little out there? Better watch out. Yeah, seriously. And a good job there by the safety, at least slowing them down. Um, so Gullo could get them. Oh, there's a little power puking going on right at the 45 yard line path. <laughs> right on the field. You know, it is humid out there. And first it's the first game. game. Yeah. Hopefully it's just exhaustion, chug too much water. You know, you always wonder the head injury again. You know, he did it again. And the fans <laughs> notice it this time. <laughs> and uh, you heard the reaction from yeah. the Fredonia's, Fredonia's uh, crowd. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that was Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> Gatorade. But uh, yeah, he's actually not feeling too good. No, they no, he's not. should probably get him off the field. Yeah, I, I would think they're gonna have to take him out. And hopefully, like, again, that's just uh, exhaustion, not a, not a head injury, right? Because that could be, you never know. I didn't see anything, so I'm not speculating. But that can be a, a sign of a concussion yeah, vomiting, can. yeah. Or at least maybe, maybe huddle around. Heat them. exhaustion, yeah, I know, right? Like. <laughs> And you well, can they're see. blocking their own fans, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Strat strategy, I guess. Huh? Yeah, good but, job uh, by the and, and a good job by the camera crew. They're really not putting it on air. So we can see it live here. And he's still down on his knees. Trigo, don't swallow that. Spit that out, okay? <laughs> and you can see some of the Fredonia hillbillies uh, feeling a little fatigue as well. Oh, absolutely. You're gonna see cramping coming out here without a doubt, and, and that's why it's so key. You see. Um, that's 62 um, going off the field for uh, Gavin Stearns. We gave credit for a nice block earlier um, going off the field. But the substitution and rotating players is so key. Really, all season long, if you can do it, but especially early on to stay fresh. You know? Yeah, and both both these schools have some nice numbers on their team, so might as well use it as, as your advantage. Yeah, 
519 left here in the first half. Randolph down by two scores, looking to Riley on the pitch. Good job at Atrock. Davi White there too. If you're gonna try to pitch, go outside. You might want to pick a side away from Atrock. Yeah, he knows how to contain that end. Like he, you know, yeah, see, he, see it all the time, and he's just right there to make the play. Now he switches to the wide side on the other side. But again, it's not like running towards rush. It's an easy task. That's either. classic, classic high school football. Put yeah. your best player where you in the in the best spot. Yeah. Got Rush coming off the other side. And even Story at linebacker. It's a little counter play here. Braley on the carry. Story on the tackle. Nope, Story was in the backfield. Colin yeah, Kroll yeah, coming yeah. in for Simon Price. Got a Something wrong with his helmet, I think. Coach Steve Gramala on the, on the fix. Taking care of his lineman. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and this line, I mean, you got your starters, and you got, and then you have Davis and Colin Kroll, um, guys that can come in and play key minutes uh, for this team and keep the starters defensively and offensively fresh. Oh, big play there by Story. Yeah, he's all over that inside. That was looked like the same play they ran on the two point conversion pad. Nothing there. Now it's fourth down. And really, since the center went out, um, it, it's been a little bit different up front for the Randolph. Yeah, you can see the uh, 52 maybe that came in. 53, I think, it's lined up at center. Okay. 52 is, was a starter at left tackle. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Option play, a little behind Braley. It's a good thing it was because other, and I think he's still going to get it anyway. But if Ooh. that pitch wasn't behind him, I think he easily would have got the first down. Davis and Quinn on the tackle, but that's a nice job by Braley fielding that pitch behind him and still able to fight off Quinn for a big first down. 3.09, clock running. Uh, left in the half, and he just falls forward. Quinn was looking for the stop, but it's where he comes down. I think that was the right call by the officials. Yeah, definitely a first down, but it was a nice open field tackle there by Quinn. He was in his spot. He just wasn't able to stop the bigger back. Farnham up the middle. This time, Story there again, along with 76. I believe that's Kroll. Colin Kroll, the junior. Gonna get some key minutes this Stop year. No gain on the play, second down. And story is a force up the middle. Simon Price coming back in the game, giving I believe that'll be Coosdale. And I love up. that. He tries to get the rest of his teammates a little fired up. I'm back in the game, boys. Let's get a stop. Gain of one on the play, so it's second and nine. Inside handoff. Oh, he's going. Untouched, the fullback Adams. On a simple dive play, it looked like that. Simple Pat. dive play, wide open hole. They're worried about containment on the outside. Yeah. And he takes the inside, at the dive. Watch this here. And he runs for four yards. Great job by the, I mean, that was just sealed off beautifully. Adams hits that hole low and hard. Shows some decent speed for a fullback. Yeah, he's a big, big boy. Maverick Adams, he's got a great name, Maverick. Yeah, he's 6'1", 200 pounds, so. And then they, see they Randolph now 28-20 is gonna go for, oh, it looks like they're kicking the extra point this time. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and just like that, they're only one behind, so back-to-back -back scores like number for Randolph. One right kicking, is that Griffin Nelson? Listed as the kicker. Timeout Randolph. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, that Randolph's all of a sudden, within one score, they get back-to-back -back possessions where they yeah. score big plays on offense. They, they force the Hillbillies to punt, and they scored again. So just like that, they're back in this ball game. All right, and, and obviously right now, you're the coaching staff. You're focusing on winning this game. But on the other hand, just think about it. Like, look at all the, the, the tests and the situations that they've 
their players are getting to experience in this first week matchup to prepare them for the regular season. This is a perfect game for both these teams to play each other early on. Again, non-league, it's just pride and you know determination to win. But you, it's an absolute perfect scenario for both these teams. Getting the lead, facing controversy, mm -hmm. fumbles, big plays, dehydration and exhaustion. I mean, you, it's it's everything you could ask for as a coach early in the season. And I gotta admit, you see some of the JB players out there wearing the old jerseys on the sideline, and the new ones look pretty sharp next to the old ones. I like the, I like the new ones. The orange yeah. bright numbers are nice. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's oh, they got the Perdoni on the pants as well. Not bad. Snap, kick, whoa. Oh, kids Man. got it. Kids got a boo. I can't believe they're going for two <laughs> I when they have a kicker yeah, like that. Yeah, that, that, that would have made it from at least 30. So Easily. now here's the perfect two-minute drive, right? Hurry up offense. Just gave up back-to-back -back touchdowns. How is Fredonia going to respond? Yeah, they got to respond, though. And Randolph, I believe, gets the ball to start the second half because they deferred. No, wait. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, was that the first snap or after hey, they Kevin. punted? I know it was their first offensive snap, very first snap. Okay, so Randolph does get the ball. So, you know, this is a big drive for Fredonia to end the half. Again, you got a two-minute drill now. You can't draw this up. It's almost like... <laughs> scrimmage creating these situations yeah, for the coaching staff. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how, what Matt Paulino does there with the play calls and with this uh, and with the how new lineup. How we'll handles see. Yeah. this situation, you know? It has been only really the touchdown pass has been the only deep ball downfield, so yeah, you know, a lot of them have been the short quick slants on the Quick uh, RPOs with a couple slants. So I'm not sure. I know they've called at least one timeout. I don't know if they can't remember if they've called any more than that. Do you recall, Pat? No, just the one. I, just the one. I think. So that's if we're right. They'll have two timeouts left, and the clock quickly stops on a first down. Obviously, out of bounds or incomplete pass. Griffin with the big leg, it's kicking off. You have Gullo and Quinn back to return. Low line drive kick, it's gonna be fielded by Quinn. Right around the 15. Oh, nice job there, he, got, he slips and is able to get back to his knees and make a nice open field tackle. Who is that, number four? Yeah, number four, Kalen Gumhalter. Uh, he slips. Almost they makes like he's going to get around. Yeah, and he gets right back is. up and makes the tackle. I mean, Quinn makes, oh, and, and that's legal. It wasn't like he tripped or anything uh, else. He made he the just, play from his Absolutely, knees. and that's a that's a great hustle, determination, never quit play. Um, I hope the coaches, you know the coaches are going to give him some credit when they watch film after that one to never stop. 2-0-3 now. And the Pilba has got a little ways to go now, but. Gullo coming in the game. I wonder if that's in for Atzrod to give a little bit more speed and receiving options and see if he's in the backfield or empty. Looks like they're going empty. Trips got, left, uh, twins oh, right. Five receivers out here. Yep. They got Brown and Hahn we'll both on the outsides. Randolph decides to bring any pressure in that scenario. Two, so here we go. White scans the field. Ready to take the snap. He has going to be a keeper on play one. White's got some room. It's gonna be short. Or no, it's nah, gonna have it first have time. It. So good call here. Get right back to line of scrimmage. Clock stopped. Now it's running. 155 and counting. That was a nice chunk of yards to get on this, your first yeah, play. Absolutely. Gullo back in the backfield. Now right behind White. Nope, going to his left now. You gotta get this off now. Here we go. White's looking to throw, he's going deep. I think that's gonna be overthrown, and it is. Decent coverage, that's intended for 15, Kevin Brown. And that'll stop the clock with 133. And that was uh, Tolan Rowland. On the coverage? Yeah, 6-1 wide receiver and D-back on the coverage. Yeah. He's shown some good athleticism out there tonight yeah, for the yeah, Cardinals. Yeah, he's, he's had some tough one-on-one -on -one matches. He's won a couple, lost a couple, but 
pretty tough matchup. Atz yes. is back in there now, out wide though, empty backfield. Gullo to the sidelines, I believe. We got Quinn, Feld, and Hahn out there, along with Brown. And that's right to the right side. That's right. Walt White's reading the defense now, taking a look. Clock stops, so he has some time. Doing a keeper again. And he is going to be stopped much shorter this time. Clock's now ticking. the clock's running, so it's going to be third and... Oh, Wow, he got more yards than I thought. Third and about four. He got six yards on the carry. Clock's down the 115, though. They got to hurry here. Randolph making a quick sub. White keeps it again. He's got room. He gets to the outside. Can he get out of bounds? He does. And he does He's get the have first, a first down. down. Yeah. So that's a real weapon for Palmino. Be a call. What's that? Three running plays by your quarterback in an empty backfield um, in the hurry-up offense. Yeah, I think you're definitely going to see a lot more of that this year than the previous years. Well, I'll tell you what. Fry had five, six hundred yards rushing last year, and Whitfield had a lot, of, quite a few yards running too the previous year. So it, it's been in the repertoire. Were those? More designed, or uh, oh yeah, the lead plays and so the last scrambling too. Fry, Fry yeah. definitely took off a, a number of times scrambling. Those last Woodfield three were too. definitely designed. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, which QB draws. Great work down there by uh, the Water Boys as well. I just want to give them a shout out. They're doing a great <laughs> job. How much fun is it when you're you're young? You oh. look up to these guys. You get to wear your midget jerseys out there and out in the field with the big boys and the big coaches. It's, uh, it's a real treat. I remember doing it as a kid, and I remember when you're coaching, having the little kids around. They love every minute of it. Some of the kids got to go to the stadium last year. Oh, that's I mean, great. Yeah. Well, it, it's it's going right. to be part of the program for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. we got a, just over a minute left in the half, so uh, we'll see what the Hillbillies have to draw up here. Yeah, so they've used about a minute off the clock. I think it was, what, 2.05? They start yeah, 203. Yeah, 207. 207. Yeah. Okay, so about a minute. Ball's dead on the 50. It's first down. Love that. Yeah. 50 yards to go. Minute left. We'll see what happens. Randolph's trying Ooh, to hold on. Go keep out that quads. Momentum. They go out quads to the left. And, and Quinn all alone here with rolling on him to the right. It's going to be one on one matchup here on the white. You see some Quinn. confusion amongst the Randolph players how to cover this. <clears throat> It is going right to Quinn, and he's got him. Oh, it's overthrown. Roland fell for it. And once again, look at Rush driving this guy. This time is number 10. All the way outside the numbers and pass protection. That was against Hunting this time. I mean, he's, he's got Man. five, six pancake, pancake blocks yeah. alone. He's building his Having offense. Having a nice game. Line film. Uh, Jamison Quinn had a great move. He had about 10 yards on him. Just, White just needs to put a Rush little more it. air, let, let the receiver run under that yeah, ball. Yeah, and that one even if you underthrow it. A now he's getting some help up top, which I've been calling for. Safety's over here helping Quinn. But look, they only got three guys covered four on the left side. Really, two. White keeps it again. Ooh, hard ooh, run ooh. by White. Great run by White to get the first down. Oh, there's a flag, there's a flag. Might be back in the holding territory. Story's calling his team back, and he back. is holding. I didn't see the whole yeah, pat, but that's, that's going to hurt. Uh, yeah. Penalties ruin drives. And there's, they're going to send him back. <laughs> oh, absolutely, you send him back. You know. Downs are, I mean, it's more time and distance right now, even the downs. Stay second down. Because that would have been first down if he, yes, it'll stay second down, but it'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So there, it was downfield a little bit. So it's really only a four yard loss. But if you you add in Davi White, it takes away the first down run of Davi White. So you definitely got to take that penalty. Now, again, there's there's not enough defenders out there. I wonder, like, a little screenplay to Gullo. you got three guys blocking three guys. 
go. You know what I mean? A little oh, wide yeah. receiver screen out here. Mm, of course. There's Great not play. enough guys out there to, to cover them. If each man blocks one guy. Now the end, the one sneaking in, and, and Gullo was faking, but they went right back to White. That's probably going one too many times to the well. And we got another pancake block. <laughs> Your boy Rush all over number 10 out there. So now it's third down, gain of about three. I, I really think I would have gone to the a little wide receiver screen out there to go on that last play. It is something to look at for yes. future plays. And now they're going to now the quick out it. to the Gullo, but that's two on two this time. It was four on three before, and he was tackled inbounds. Tackled inbounds, clock's they're gonna running. Call, they're going to call a timeout. You, you have to now. We're down here. And we got 15 seconds left, so you're going to need to. Price is uh, yeah. actually limping off a little bit. Looks like he's got an ankle or a. Yeah, poor Simon Price. He, honestly has some of the worst ankles in the history of high school linemen. <laughs> he battles through them, but he always has, you know, he just has a chronic ankle injury issue, and obviously they just keep getting weaker and weaker as you hurt them more, you know. Yeah. But he tends to battle through it. Oh, you know what, he might be cramping. I heard for pickle juice. He might be cramping. They, they, they love yep. their, the, yep, they bring, Chad's bringing out the pickle juice for Price, so I think that's more of a cramp than it is a he does, yeah, ankle it's in the injury. Calf, it's in the calf. Which is good. I mean, not this good. He's having cramps. I'm just glad he didn't hurt his ankle. He got the pickle juice. Don't got worry. the pickle juice, baby. <laughs> Which I have no idea if there's actually any scientific proof to that, but they all believe it 100%. <laughs> so I think that's all that matters. It's like Michael's secret stuff. Yeah, yeah. The secret sauce. Now you got trips right here. There's not enough defenders over here. Again, and the Cardinals are a little confused with these formations. There's still not enough defenders out here at all. Right side. Little step up in the pocket. He's take off. Get out of bounds. Did he get out of bounds? He did. And man, he finished his runs for a quarterback. Yeah, he does. He lowered that shoulder and ran right over the defender. Gets out of bounds and smart play there. He, he moved up in the pocket and he still looked downfield for the pass. Yeah, it shows great growth. I really, really, really nice play there by White. Absolutely, and I think, you know, they're gonna study the film where they're gonna point, like he got caught, I think, on the, but maybe he has one side to read and then take off. That could be the way he's coached. And if you look back to the right side, their guy's open, but that might be his read. Pick a side, nothing's there, throw it away or take off. Um, okay, we got trips right again. We got seven seconds left. No, well, I'm not like sure if they, they have timeouts or not. A little bit more single coverage. And the Randolph defenders are backing off, obviously, for good reason. Pass out, completed to the field. And he gets out of bounds with one second left. You might want to say his little home time clock job over here. No, no, no. He said it was legit. If anything, there was two seconds left. Yeah, yeah. First, no, <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna, and they're gonna have one second here. Fredonia is gonna one go. Play. They're gonna go for the, for a score here. Don't bring out the kicking crew. They are gonna go for a score. No, I mean a, a field goal will be thirty, about thirty-seven yards from here. That's tough on this level. Yeah, they. I, I like the trips call, but. Oh, they're calling for measurement here, which I don't understand. There's one play left, but I guess you got to get it right because if there is a penalty and so on, there's another play. But yeah, there's going to be one play without a defensive penalty or you know, touchdown. All right, when they bring out the chain gang here, all the way on the other side of the field. He, they couldn't have to run any farther, that's <laughs> for sure. I guess some new faces out there. Eh? And over the years, a lot of the same dads are out there volunteering, even members of the community, actually. It's not even always dads. And it's a first down for the Hillbillies. And they, uh, this will be the guaranteed. Well, well could be a penalty. Could, could be a penalty. Be a penalty. But or if uh, they score, there'll at least be an extra point attempt after. We'll see. I we'll see. Uh, 
what they draw up here, they do come out two on each side. So with as maybe him as an extra blocker in there, give a, give White a little. if you do a, a, a back corner pass to the end zone here. Uh, the, you know what I'm saying with it? Like maybe the gullo towards the back pylon yep, of the corner I, of the yep, end zone. I like that call a lot, Shannon. Uh, I, I think that he'd be inside of that defender if he did it, or outside of He's him. looking, it's a swing pass to Atzrot. And I don't, I, I don't really understand what we, you know where that was going to go as far as maybe the he's open to uh, uh, catch it and run. But neither way, what a first half we had. Yeah, great Ran first up half. up 6-0, fumble score. Fredonia rattles off 28 unanswered points. And then Randolph comes back with two touchdowns and get back in the game, and they get the ball to start the second half. So with that, I think we'll take a halftime break. I'll try to grab some stats from the sidelines, and we'll come back with a little halftime show and hopefully another great second half. Stay tuned, folks.
All right, we're back here for a quick halftime show, and uh, we actually got a special treat. Jackson Hayes back in the booth. We're able to create a little first half highlight reel, so here we go. This is the first touchdown of the season. Davi White breaks it up the middle for the touchdown scamper. Breakaway speed and a long drive. Here he goes. Right now. The two point conversion diving across. Tying the game, or taking the lead there actually. And here's the touchdown pass to who else? Jamison Quinn. That's his second one of the day, I believe. Gets the call there. And here's the Randolph scores. Braley on the spin move there. Yeah, nice run yeah. there. That was a nice little stiff arm, too. I didn't notice that live. So this is highlight film. Fantastic to be able to watch. That was nice way. Another, this is going to be Adams up the middle. Great trap blocking there, sealing off the Peronia line. Be interesting to see how the two teams adapt to that. And here's the Quinn's first touchdown. Great throw, great catch. Great White catch. to Quinn. Two touchdowns in the first half. And he hit him ball. with the gritty. Hit him with the gritty. All right, All right, but uh, some stats from Pat Mahane. Yeah, we did have a nice half for the Hillbillies. Um, I got Dobby White running for 11 times for 79 yards, and then he also threw 71 yards through the air. He was 7-11 for 71 yards, and he had two touchdowns. Um, also rushing was Azrat. He had uh, oh, he had nine rushes for 84 yards. And then he also had one reception for five yards. I got Luke Colo, one rush for eight yards, and he had one catch for six yards. And I had Field there for one catch for five yards. And then uh, Quinn, he was the leading receiver there with four receptions, 50 yards, and he had both two touchdowns uh, through the air, making two nice catches. So some good stats there by the Hillbillies. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, we don't have Randolph stats, um, but that's some, some impressive numbers between Farnham and Braley and even Adams, too, rushing the ball. So really an outstanding overall first half for yeah. both teams. Had first quarter, second quarter domination. I love me some nice highlights. It was up and down there. That's some good touchdowns, you know, 28-21 20, at the half. We'll see if uh, we can continue this offensive explosion. And, you know, there were some penalties earlier, but they both were able to sell down and uh, – play some good football out there. Yeah, it, it really did see some fatigue affecting both sides. Uh, talking to the coaches a little bit, they, they got off and some of the starters were fatigued and had to come off the field. And Randolph took full advantage of that, scoring back-to-back -to -back touchdowns to get themselves back in the game. And you you definitely saw, you can see a slight size difference. We didn't talk much about that in the first I half. I did pass. notice that. But the line, you know, we talk about pancake blocks and so on. But this Fredonia line is huge. It's been huge for a couple of years now, uh, really three, four years. And uh, that's going to take its toll, I would think, into the second half. If the big guys can keep up their energy level, you're going to wear down those smaller players. Yeah. It, it, and it's, Cardinals have some nice height, but it's the, the girth that, uh, that uh, what matters there on the line. Fredonia has been doing a nice job controlling that line. Led by, led by your boy. Owen Rush, just a great fan. Ian Story, son, Simon Price. They've all done a real nice yeah, job Rush, there. Rush must have five or six pancake blocks. There we go, and she can't see, kicks it off. It's gonna be short and go out of bounds, which really most special team coaches in high school football do not care, because that eliminates any chance of a big return. Yeah. So you try that. to pin them, if it rolls out, it rolls out. If it doesn't, then they're pinned in the corner, and you give your return team a good chance to stop any great return by the opposing team. There was a chance. Oh, they're that getting They're gonna re-kick. They're gonna re-kick. They you see Randolph has the choice to, to take it from I think it's what the 35 or have them re-kick, and they're choosing the re-kick. So it'll be a five 40, yard. I believe they get it at the 40. Well, and that when it goes out of maybe bounds? college. I mean, maybe a high school. Yeah, I can't remember for sure. It's I know in the I know in the NFL it's 40. Yeah, yeah, you're right in the NFL. It's a big deal in the NFL if it goes out. That was, that was almost the perfect kick. That yes. would yeah. have been impressive if he was able. And it, it definitely looked like that's what he was going for. So we'll see see what he uh, yeah, so They're kicking what, from the half. So they're here. the middle's wide open here. But he's going to try this. Oh, oh that's a nice again. 
they're gonna go out of bounds again, and it does, and the flag will come out again. Similar spot. And I wonder, is he gonna make him re-kick again? If you did it once, why wouldn't you do I it again? I think he's doing it again. They're, they're headed back. A little cat and mouse game here early second half. Kick it to the other side. <laughs> But now, now again, they're kicking. They're gonna be kicking off from 10 yards back. Coach Gramal is calling his kicker, Aiden Shikansky, over to talk about what to do here. Now, do you, do you come back with an onside? Now, onside, you'd be like really giving them good field position if you don't get it. But who'd be expecting that at this point? Uh, or kick a little short one that stops <laughs> around the 50. Uh, we're getting See away. We're getting it. away from it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the game last night, um, with under a minute left in the first half, the herd. Casadega Valley, Maple Grove, and uh, Faulkner just scored a touchdown. They kick it onside and got it. And almost got a second touchdown to end the wow. half. So no one expected that there, so you never know. I'm used to watching Southwestern. And they were kicks playing. Kicks onside every time. And I'm sorry, you said like they were playing Olean last night? Yes. Oh, okay. It's all, yep. So let's see what they do this time. Shikansky once again kicks it down the middle. Let's see if Randolph's strategy pays off. Barnum on the return, waiting for his wedge blocking. And gets it out to midfield. Gets it so out they to definitely midfield. gained some yardage by making them re-kick it. Yeah, that was good coaching there by Randolph. And they're going to start with excellent field position yeah. right at right at uh, midfield. And, and I wouldn't be surprised if more teams start doing exactly what Randolph did. Say, no, 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 that's fine, kick it again. You know, like make them do that. And they gained yardage by doing that. So be interesting to see you know you adapt to every new strategy and you have to counter it so midfield down by seven Randolph has the ball to start the second half Morrison under center gives it to Farnham deep back and he's met rather hard after about a yard gain I think that was yeah. Legro yeah number nine the first Legros one there, there. 55 and uh, Bryce Bacher there. was there as well 50 sides short gain gain of one yeah, good nice job by Legro coming up and filling that hole. Nice team tackling there yeah. by the Hillbillies. And, and good job by Barker, the, the new starter at the end there, containing, forcing him into the linebacker. Yeah, and it's going to be second and nine here for the Cardinals. They go with the power eye. Oh, it was a fumble. Fredonia. Oh, and Fredoni is going to take advantage. Another turnover. Yeah, turnovers played a huge role in the first half, and it starts up you in know the second half playing another it. huge role. Did you notice if 62 was back in the game, the starting center? Because remember, he was a little sick in the first half. Um, I don't know if he was out there. I didn't think to look earlier until the, the fumbled snap made me think of it on the exchange. But big mistake hurt early by Randolph. Let's see if Fredonia can take advantage of that. Yeah, I wasn't able to notice him out there as well. I'm trying to see if I saw him running off on the sidelines. I, I didn't, but it doesn't mean he was or wasn't because I didn't right. look in time, you know. We'll, we'll have to make sure we look, Pat, the next time around. But here comes that Fredonia offense, empty backfield here. Got Azrod out there. Got Quinn out there. Got Feld out there, all on trip side, right. And you wonder if they're gonna go right back to the white keeper here. Yeah, is he gonna throw thinking, it? And there it is. Right back to the well. White makes a nice move. It looked like it was gonna be defended well at first. Braley couldn't couldn't uh, make oh, the tackle. He's cramping. White's cramping. Get the pickle juice. That's a hammy one too. That the, the hammy ones are the ones that are the most painful. Here's the pickle juice call. Let's see who's going to go in They're at gonna quarterback have to bring now. Up. They're going to have to go with uh, Quinn with the power eye That's here. That's what we saw when White had to come out earlier for a play. Yep, they get him as, looks like. They're going to have to hurry up Glavie. here, too, because the, the play clock's been going this whole time. Glavie comes out to play receiver for Quinn, and Quinn's going to go to the It would have been almost better if uh, Dobby just laid down, because that would have stopped the play clock. But it didn't, because he did not. He, Glavy looks, he's lined up illegally right now. He's on the line of scrimmage as well. And, and no call. And Quinn's going, oh! <laughs> Quinn is hit hard up the middle by number three, Maverick Adams. He's having a game, no, maybe a loss of one on the play. 
Yeah, he knew what play was coming. He knows yeah. that when that Quinn is not a throwing quarterback, and he's, Quinn is, got a, might have, got they, knocked up gonna, a little bit. It, but. Yeah, so now you add the motion in there. So at least they have to, like, let him ride it and then keep it or something. Don't that do a true wildcat formation or move. Now he's going to hand off to Ezra. It's a lot safer that way. Ezra makes a nice cut. Oh, yeah. Another nice cut, breaking more tackles. And he's tripped up just from behind by Braley, saving the touchdown. And Braley's a little shaken up. Huge play there for the Hillbillies. Astra just kept his feet moving, kept looking for a hole, and he's able to bounce it out. Got about 30, 35 yards on the play. Absolutely. And, and you know, for, for a traditional growing up, Sammy was always a, just a straight power back. He would, he would just run into contact. It's really nice to see him making a couple moves, using his speed and power for a nice run there. Oh, almost dropped it. Quinn's going to keep this one, run it up the middle. Nice cut himself. So it's yeah. nice to see Quinn running the ball well up the middle, too. Yep, I like that one. It was the nice RPO Wildcat play. Classic Wildcat play, and he's able to fake the inside handoff, take it up the three hole, and get a nice little eight yard gain. Second and two, White second still, and one. White's still apologies. stretching on the sideline here. Doesn't even have his helmet in his hand right now, yeah. so he's not coming back in this drive, I wouldn't think. Handoff to Atzrock, cuts it up the middle, dragging the pile yeah. himself. Price trying to push him in. Forward progress is stopped, and they're gonna call it dead. Definitely gonna get the first down there for Astrad. Well, I think it was already first and goal, so that'll be second and goal. All right. Maybe not. Maybe yeah, we right. were we were uh, second and one. Oh, last okay. Time. Okay. I saw the chains laying down already. They must have dropped him real quick. Let's see what's Quinn gonna do. Is he gonna keep it? He does. He wants that third touchdown, and he's gonna get it. Love to see it. Nice play by Quinn there. Another RPO Wildcat. And he uh, basically gets in untouched for the Hillbillies. Yeah, and nice shot by the offensive line in that drive, too. They really yeah. opened up running lanes. So whoever, whether it was White, whether it was Quinn, whether it's Atzrot, there was holes all day long there. You always got to give the lineman credit on, on rushing touchdowns. And uh, that showed great poise by the Hillbillies as well to get that sure. touchdown after your quarterback comes out. Yeah. Shikansky on to attempt the extra point. Snap is down. Ooh, is that going to sneak in? And it did. It wasn't pretty, but it counts as a make. That's a make in the, in the books. Tomorrow's newspaper is going to have That's that right. as an extra point make. So. And uh, Quinn doing a little bit of everything out there. So he's on all, out there all phases. So. Great play there by senior Jameson Quinn. Yeah, look at that. Just squeaking. Great job by the cameraman out there. Now, by the way, why don't we mention our crew tonight? We have a minute. Helping us out. Of course, we had the great Jackson Hickey. Glad to see he's back. I was worried after graduation. I'd never see him again. So thanks for... <laughs> Little boy Jackson. We also have Anthony Derby, Cody Decker, and of course... The man himself, Chip Rewell, helping us out, and you know Pat Mahaney and myself in the box tonight. Everyone's doing a great job. It's like it's like we're in mid-season form tonight, fellas. Nice job, everybody. Yeah, they're doing a great job tonight. A lot of great updates with uh, the equipment, and uh, you know I feel like a professional out here. <laughs> well, they're making us look like professionals. I'll say that, but you know. That, that fumbled snap, what a, that's such a big play for Randolph. They had two unanswered yeah. touchdowns. They were in Fredonia territory in an unforced error, really. There's no reason that Fredonia didn't cause that fumble. They cough off the ball and cough off another touchdown off a turnover. Yeah. It's been the story of the game so far. No difference after that fumble. Yep, yep. Turnovers are drive killers, and you know, obviously. And fredonia has been doing a great job on capitalizing on on the turnovers. So yeah. you, lo you love to see the Hillbillies out there doing that. And it it it's not looking good for White right now. We'll see what happens. Uh, Shikansi's going. Oh, that's a great kick, but it goes out of uh, bounds. 
That was almost perfect. And, no. uh, if my guess is they're going to make him kick it again. Yep, uh, they're coming back. They are. That was almost a perfect kick by Shikansky. Yeah, he's had three almost perfect ones, but at the same time, their their flag keeps getting thrown. So. That's Rod's asking to come off uh, at this kickoff. A little surprised they're, they're using them that much. It might be a helmet issue even, too. Yeah, it looks like another equipment issue. They got uh, But that's, I mean, you think about that, too. Re-kicking them, you're, you're causing guys like Atrat to sprint down the field over and over and do it again. You, you wear out your special team players, and a lot of starters are on special teams, too. It looks like Derek. Sure, that's going to stay in bounce this time, fielded right around the 25. There's that wedge again. They really set that up nicely, and he just shows such good. Farnham just shows such patience, waiting for that blocking to happen, and gets great field position out the midfield once again. Yeah, he's we're gonna get a close look at this. Look at he's a pretty see how smooth he's not, runner. Yeah, he's just waiting for that to develop, and there's the hole. Bryce Bacher and four. That's Willie. Jake Willie in on the tackle. Great job by the cameraman showing the. Fans, how that special team play works in the blocking scheme. So once again, Morrison is under center. Let's see if we can see who's at center. It's 53, carry counter. to Farnham. Got a whole gang of hillbillies in on that one. So I don't think Stearns is back in, and that, that is a big loss. He was having a real nice game at center. I think 53 right now is playing center for Randolph. So he did Alan not Root, return. He's a junior. Losing your center is a big deal. Right, with those cap snaps captain of the line. Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Making line calls. That exchange, as we saw. This is a big drive for both teams here. That's right. I had to come off with a helmet issue still, forcing Fredoni to call a timeout there. I do think fatigue for both these teams is going to be a major issue here yeah, in the second half. It's actually uh, really noticeable right now. Oh, already. Yeah. And it's not uncommon. Uh, week one, game one, humid. Yeah, another thing I noticed, you know, Fredoni didn't run up the hill during halftime. No, well, they, they stayed down here in their own end zone. It's disappointing because I usually sneak up there with them. I go to the bathroom. I have to wait in line that way. So today I had to wait in line because they didn't go up there. You know, that's, that's so selfish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what were the coaches thinking? I know. I had a word with them. Straightened it out. Okay, here we go. Following the Hillbilly timeout, second and four. Morrison under center. Farn on the deep back gets the carry. It's going to have the first down, getting it out to about the 40 yard line. Randolph going with their bread and butter there with the power eye. They, they haven't attempted a single pass yet, I don't think, tonight, have they? I don't think so. Which is also very typical of Randolph. And uh, they'll uh, get a fresh start of downs, first down and 10 here. They, they got Davi White back in on defense. You thought, you know, he like, was limping hard on the sideline, so you I. Think, you think, maybe, but again, he's got to get used to doing this, too, so. Hand off to the up back Adams. Another nice trap block there. It's they're taking it. He goes bit. down as well. He's slow to get up. He's cramping. Yeah, he's got that yeah. leg up in the air. Hopefully it's just a cramp too. No, you don't, especially week one, you don't want to see anyone go down hurt. Uh, but when your body gets tired too and the, just more susceptible to injuries. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to see I, if 
if we can see anything happen he here. Might be me. See, yeah, nothing happened. He's just, but I think he's, he's, he's grabbed his cap right away, so it could be, and they're stretching it. Okay, that's good news. Um, right there, nothing crazy. What great camera work here, guys. Look at that, back again, Re bring it back. Good job by Adams falling forward, and he grabs that calf right away, and that's what they're stretching. So hopefully it's just a cramp, looks like just a cramp, and I'm sure it's not gonna be the last cramp we see tonight. Um, and that's, this, especially these guys, his first time playing both ways and so on, you know, it's so important for you young players out there to take care of your body. My kids used to hate me because I talked about it so much about hydration. You know, they could never drink enough water as far as I was concerned, especially days before games. To be pounding water, not anything else, guys, water. Drink as much water as you possibly of course, can. Because, I mean, look at these guys. These are all, they're all in great shape. It's not because they're not in shape. It's just, it's, you can't simulate a game. You just can't. Oh, yeah. that, that adrenaline and the intensity and, the humidity here, you can't simulate that in a practice. Yeah, those dog days of summer, man, you gotta stay hydrated. And uh, yeah, it's okay. unfortunate that Adams is cramping up so bad. Maverick Adams for Randolph, he's been having a, an excellent game, yeah. offensively and defensively, so. And he gets up. Still, yeah, he, he's hurt. I get bad cramps out there. It almost feels like uh, your your hamstring. Or yeah, some someone's trying to escape through your hamstring. And uh, it will be second down and six here for Randolph as uh, the play resumes. Let's see who replaces Adams as the up back here. Looks like that number nine. Yeah, number nine. Who do we got for that? Bet? It's Kevin Harrington. He's uh, he's a sophomore. Okay. So he's getting a chance to play here. Part him up the middle, and he's stopped by Adams. Throw back the other way. Uh oh. Looks like Story. Oh, he might be cramping now. Like I said, we're gonna be saying the word cramp a lot. Yeah, we need what <laughs> we need to get. Uh, and you know what? I I can see this happening. It happened in the game I did last night. The officials called a couple extra official timeouts to give the players chances to hydrate, which I thought was a great move. Very, no competitive advantage for either team. It's all about the safety of the players. But, you know why not? It's high school football. Give each team a, a chance to stay hydrated. Yeah, especially during when they come off, they have to make sure that they're hydrated as well. Let's give it to the up back. Is that the new kid or is, I don't think Adams came back in, did he? Give it to, nope, yeah, no, that was uh, Harrington, you said, story yep. in on the tab. Kevin Harrington. And uh, yeah, that's huge for the Hillbillies. It brings up fourth down. Little surprise they went with seven. that call. Maybe they're thinking Hillbillies would expect it with Adams out. And uh, do they uh, go to pass here, or do they yeah. stick to their bread and butter? Maybe, maybe an option play in the last fourth down in this area. Remember they went to option the Braley. I'm surprised they haven't run the option more, to be honest. But it was working early on. Let's see what down. we do. And it is oh, reverse. reverse. Great play nice by job by Rush and White. Staying home, nothing there. Yep, Bobby White, outside linebacker. He stayed home and he was there to make the play. Yeah, and so did Owen Rush. He just threw his block away. That was here. It is. You're gonna see. They're not fool guys. You're gonna see them both coming in the play, picture right here. Nowhere to go in the corner. Luca Luca Gullo was right out there too. Great job by all three of those defenders on a big fourth down. And uh, now a couple key injuries. You lost your set, they lost their center, meaning Randolph. They lost their fullback. Adams having a great game. Um, can they withstand and come up with a stop here? Ooh, Adams is back out there on defense okay. right now. All right, that's it. Just, you know, it's like we saw White come back in himself. Adams is back in, but doesn't mean he doesn't cramp back up with a play or two, too. Great defensive series there for the Hillbillies. Let's we'll see what they can do on offense here. Empty backfield once again. Just 
There he goes. The there he goes. Can Adams catch him? Yes, he does, but another great run, and that might put White over 100 yards rushing for tonight. He had, would he have 79? So I think that definitely put at halftime. So that he's going to get his first 100 yard rushing game here and his first start at quarterback. Oh, yeah. I was up, oh, and he's uh, up and popping out there. Oh, they absolutely. Might, they he might is. need it. He does, he's like, I'm not getting the play. It's not the play anyway. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they, they typically call. Yeah, it. And not, you know, we called the play. We knew the play was coming. Randolph knew the play was coming. And he was able to get to the outside, showed that, uh, that long stride speed, and had a huge gain. Going right back to him. That's asking an awful lot of the big again. fella. He's dragging him. Another first down. It's almost like Paul, Paul Vino's using a cheat code this afternoon now, but White, he's, yeah, White's exhausted. I don't know if I would have called that play, even though I thought it would work at that point. You gotta get the kid a little break too. He's keeled yeah, over. He's I think they're going to make him come out, maybe. No? Official walked away. All right. I think he got to go with a different play here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's begging for a different play. He Please wants, let me hand it off to Sammy. He wants to call a timeout. Yeah, he had all he could do to there get hand it off to Azrod. And Azrod goes in untouched for the touchdown. And as a... And, and get, give the workhorse Azrod, who's been playing a great game, give him a touchdown. Oh, a absolutely. Good. Yeah, yeah. Watching that great job by the right side of the line. But Tommy had zero interest in running in that time. And H. Chikansky's on for the extra point, scores 41 21. Dobby White's pumped up, getting his other teammates pumped up on the sidelines. You love to see that out of your leader quarterback. Oh, oh. No good on the extra Bad point. Bad snap, and uh, you know, Quinn's laying on the ground with that ball. He's down, the whistle's gotta blow. The official's gotta blow the whistle. He, Quinn got teed off from, from behind, laying on the ground. You're watching it here. Look, at two comes in untouched. He's clearly down. No whistle, he just takes a shot to the back. Yeah, and Quinn's yelling to his fellow senior Azra. Get that snap up. Yeah, yeah. Get that snap up. Yeah, look at Ian's story, he's out there paddling, but he is exhausted. Yeah, there's a lot of tired guys out there, yeah. but they're going to keep fighting. It's easier to be tired when you're up by 20. Though. Yeah, that was a hu another huge possession yeah. by the Hillbillies. They needed to keep keep the momentum going and they were able to get a nice huge gain uh, by their quarterback and uh, the running back of Gastrat is they able to punch it in for the touchdown so yeah we'll see if Randolph can come back they're they're definitely in need for a good drive they have not had a good half offensively Fredonia has made the adjustments on defense here in the second half and oh and it looks like uh Fredonia's gonna have a new kicker. 31. That is, he's also listed as a kicker, actually. Um, Caden Rittenberg, he's a junior kicker. There's and actually three soccer players. Uh, Domenico also is kicking for the team this year. We haven't seen him yet. Charles Domenico, 24, yep. A Cardinal kicking battle. Again. Cardinal's gonna have 200 yards and return yardage tonight. And he gets it up, it's about the 36 yard line. See what uh, both teams bring out here. You know, Fredonia is going to keep making stops. Yeah. They're looking for more turnovers, and Randolph needs uh, Randolph needs a score. Yeah, they need they need a drive here. They got to give their defense a break. They got to get some of that momentum back. It's a it's a gut check here Randolph right now. What? Gets the ball back at their own 36 yard line. Here we go. Morrison back under center, pitch out to Farno, cut it off, but he is met hard. Guess there who? by Sammy Atzrod. 
yeah, he's, he's uh, an excellent end out there. He's, he's contained very running well. Running outside against all, this team yeah, he's with Ant's right, Rush and even Bakker's doing a decent job at end. It's going to be difficult all year. Yeah, I just, you know, they got the receivers out here. It's on an island. You know, it's just one-on-one -on -one coverage, but they haven't looked, they haven't even faked the pass all, the, all day. So. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, they got to get Toffee a break and get him out of yeah, there. Yeah, they're getting him out. Hurt too. getting him out right they, now, actually. But he called for it. They were leaving him out there. Got to get him conditioned for 20, the rest of the yeah, season. Yeah, I know, but you don't want to get him hurt either for the rest and of the A little counter here to Adams. and Oh, he's still on his feet. Good job there. I thought he was down in the pile. There. Gain of about five. Bring a, uh, yeah. It's going to be a third and, uh, yeah, I'm going to say five yards here. Third and five. The, the traps and things. Yeah, and, and yeah, you hear the Fredonia yeah. coaching staff yelling, stay at home with those traps. The ends and outside linebackers need to stay home on those misdirection plays. You gotta stay in your holes and your in your gaps. It's get, you gotta gap control. Nice run here for Farnham. The, the, the spot, I think he's gonna fall forward for a first down here. Yeah, drag a few players. Well, good job by these Randolph backs, always that falling that forward. Oh, no, the spot's going to be short. It's going to be fourth and short here. Must have rolled his knee down before he hit the ground. That's the way they're calling for a measure, man. What's going on? Bring the chain gain out. It's an important measure. It they, looks like they'll be well, they moved it the other side of the line. At first they had it on the, like, I inside. thought he got it. I personally yeah. thought he got it. I did too. But when they first put the ball down, it was inside of the 45. I'm like, so we know it's short dead, but then they reset it on the other side. But he's still a little short here. If you're Randolph, you think you almost have to go for this. You can't yeah, Huge play, away. huge play here. You going QB Sneak, you going to Adams, you going to Farnham. What are you doing here? Up there, real, real tight. I'm looking for a dive on uh, with, uh, with Adams here. Oh, QB Sneak. And I get it. Yeah. The old goose play. Oh, I think he definitely got it. And he got pushed back, but the progress was definitely there. And oh, there's a player down. That's right. Cramping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see Coach Kamala out there telling him to go down, and he just, he went down. See, he's not happy. He's cramping. About the fifth or sixth player that we've seen tonight, so. Oh, yeah. I, I gotta say, if they don't give him the first down here, I think it's a bad spot. Cause he was definitely up and got pushed back. I know, Jackson, can we see that again? So here oh, we go. Got it. He's, the ball is, way, so his knee's down there, it's way up there, so. Hey, they got it, they got it. But there he's down right there. And you can see he's, and then he gets pushed way back and that's where they kind of spotted it. That's a, not a good spot. Good job by, Defense there driving him back, but you get forward progress. He got it anyway, but the officials, I don't know if I agree. I definitely did not agree with that spot. I thought the officials have done a nice job. Tonight, oh, sure, sure. It's their first game of the season yeah. as well. That's such a hard thing to and do. I, in, yeah. in live, all the traffic. They probably couldn't see where the ball was even, you know. <laughs> and they're yelling for the pickle juice again. I think that is really fun. I love that. They're bringing out in the field the <laughs> special water for Bobby Boucher. <laughs> He's going to play. He's going to fight. <laughs> yeah, and this kills, you know, with all the 
tough too because this kills the momentum of the game. And, yeah. But it does give a chance for the other players to get hydration. Uh, absolutely. They, and, and finally, they're getting the other players. Randall spent on the sideline drinking yeah, the whole they time. Need, they need, uh, players need to be smart too and make sure that they are drinking more, taking this time. You know, you see your buddy on the ground, you don't want, you don't want to be the next one. That one looks like it's in the calf. And of course, Dobby White's going to replace him. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'd leave Adami right on the sideline at this point if I'm not. That's that defense. Just yeah, they're having trouble getting it uh, all rubbed out, so. Uh, Wait. Yeah, this is where it would be nice to have some trainers out here. I I do agree with you there. They usually at least have a doctor down there. Don't like to see him limping off like that. He's definitely uh, plays a big role in tonight's oh, game. Absolutely. So I know it's just a cramp, but you still still hate to see it. play here we got uh first and ten here for the after the, the QB sneak for the first down for Randolph that's right okay first and ten, Morrison first back under center Ooh. give it to the up back Adams that was another close one the snap was a little shaky yeah I, I agree and I've seen that a few times oh and another injury out yeah. there looks like he's staying in that's uh They've already lost their starting center. You can definitely see the difference in, in the rhythm of that offense and it's the quality of blocking too. It's Second down, seven yards to go. Shotgun. I don't even know, so I was watching this receiver barely get set. Good job by Farnham, still battling. And Rush yeah. finally grabs a hold of him, but there was about nothing there and he just kept going. He's slow to get up. Yep, and uh, it's going to come down to third, third and five. Oh, right, and, yep, third and five. Uh, the, the problem with this drive too, if you're from Randolph's perspective, even though they're getting some first downs, it's taking a ton of time to get each first down. When you're down yeah. 20 third points, down you don't have it. They're back in shotgun again. Trying something to give it to Farnham on the sweep. Oh, nice tackle there. Number seven, Peyton Levy. And he likes that. He's, he likes to get his team fired up by big plays. So. He's a big fourth down here for Randolph. And he comes out of nowhere there and gets real the ankle hot. sweep. Sweep the leg, Johnny. That was a nice play by number seven out there. Wearing number seven for Fredonia. You love to see it. I thought they retired your number. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I passed it on. Oh, I passed pass. it on, yeah. <laughs> Went to the up back. Oh, no. Fake. Morrison keeps it. Great fake. fake. I thought Adams had the ball, too. And so did half the Fredonia defense. Story and Coosdale tackled Adam right up the middle. 
and Morrison kept it, an option play, and got the first down. Yeah, big first down there for the. Look at the car was driving. There was three defenders tackling Adams. That was that picture was picture perfect fake there. And that's what opens it up when you have different formation. You know, nice one play sets up the next direction. play. And they go right back to the up back. Not much there. Colin Kroll going back in. No nope. sight. And that'll bring us to the end of the third quarter with the score. Fredonia Hillbilly 41, Randolph Cardinals 21. All right, nice quarter there for the Hillbillies. We'll see what the, they can keep it going now in the fourth quarter. As the Peronia Hillbilly cheerleaders get the crowd going with the classic victory chant. That's a classic, you'll love to hear it. And as it should be, the seniors are the loudest with the victory crowd. Alright, big couple plays here and they're coming up here for the Cardinals. We'll see if the Hillbillies what they bring on defense. They need a score, they need it quick. I mean, too, I've been watching know? these receivers come out here all game long, but I, we'll see uh, if they uh, make a play here. And they're gonna have nothing on the left side of the field. Lance Rock coming back in the game here. White coming, oh, it's too many men. Did they get away with that? Looks like it. Are you serious? They didn't see guys running all over the place? Uh, they did have 11. I think okay. they were just in the wrong spot. Okay. okay. And they're throwing just, up some oh, hands. White wasn't supposed to come off. He just yeah. thought he was coming. Yeah, yeah, but a okay. little bit, little bit confusion yeah. there. White made the tackle. Though. He did. He, <laughs> so he was in the red spot. Yeah. In the red well, deck. nine yards down the field as a linebacker, that's not where you're supposed that's to that's be. That's Jermaine Edmonds defense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic handoff, it looks like they get the first down. Yep. And that was 25, Connor Braley on the carry. Not too many carries here in the second half for him. First down, Randolph. So the crowd's even fatigued. It's really, it's much yeah, it's quieter a little, little here. Quiet everyone's down here in the arms. Like the heat, oh. the first game, the the hype. I think everyone's getting a little fatigued. Oh, fullback died. Oh, can they, oh, he's still on his feet. Peyton Levy makes a touchdown saving tackle right around the six. Yep, and he's a, slow getting up. The hesitation, he, uh, yeah. it looked like he was going to wait, maybe throw oh, right inside the of the handoff. Yeah. Go back, I want to see that if you can, Jackson. I want to see the tramping of the lineman here. Look at that. Just watch this block develop and the patience of Adams running here. 58 makes yeah, a nice block. See, you can see the Cracks ceiling. And he just gets caught. LeGro just misses the tackle. It's a real nice job by our camera guys and a nice job by the line and Adams of That's Randall. Eli Bryan, 58, with a nice crack back down on that one. Option play, Option. oh, Bumble. it's over his head without a bounce, but it's gonna be for a big loss. Morrison took a big hit on that play. And that's gonna hurt this drive. That's gonna send it back. That was second and six. Right on replay. Fake, he's coming, I believe it's gonna be Atzrot. He went with it the was, no look. Did. Yeah, he went with the no look pitch, and it got a little high on him. If it's, he sends him back to the 15 yard line, and we have another uh, cramp going like on a story here. Story down there. Seven. 
Yep. Story. So, uh, he's been he's been out there. He's been a trooper, and you see him like even in coming on the quarter, he looks exhausted. But there's no quit in story. So, but it's even wearing on him. But yeah, that, that's unfortunate for the Cardinals. That snap with their pitch was just a little high. You know, the timing was perfect. The suck to end in. Uh, good pitch relationship there. Just couldn't execute. That's right, right next to Story, stretching himself. Yeah, he's he doesn't want to be the next. He doesn't want to go down again, so he's out there stretching as well. And it's funny, up. the guys that keep going down are the guys playing two ways. Who would have yeah, thought? Yeah, right. And they got uh, Bakker out there getting a little extra word from the coaches. He might have taken Story's position. Just moving, uh, yeah, moving over. Yeah, Bakker's off back out of end where he has been playing quite a bit. White, Legro, Atrot is at linebacker along with Glavy. Haven't mentioned Tyler Coosdale because he's getting double teamed every time, but he's been filling the holes all game. Good run there by 25, Connor Braley. Yeah, that was a nice play to get some yards back after that fumble. Every after every play, these linemen just struggle to get back to their feet. We're going to goal line defense. Big man Ian Story is going back in for the gross. I think he took all of one play off. Third and goal. Late and they're ready for it that time. Adams is still battling though. Give him yeah. some credit. It looked like he's taking on the entire defensive line. Definitely on six, six of them. Let's bring up a fourth down. See what well, they have to go for it here. They got to get any delayed. points. And, oh, nice job there by Simon Price and the rest of his teammates getting in on it. Fourth down and goal from the seventh. Fourth Huge down. play here. And the clock is still running. They're taking off so much time on this possession. Yeah. Nine have, minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Absolutely have to score. Fourth down. Oh, pitch it early. Fumble. Doesn't matter. And Dobby White. White on the big play. Morrison rushed the pitch on that one. But nice job by the outside linebacker taking pitch man there. Nowhere to go. I didn't really see an end forcing Morrison to pitch. Let's take a look here. No, I think he should have kept that one and he might have had a running lane. Great, great work there by uh, defense there for the Hillbillies. Team, the team stopped there. They were Absolutely. all over a lot. You know, they had a big break. On a fourth down, they get down into their territory and they were able to stop them to get the ball back. Yeah, a little bend, but don't break in that defensive stand. And, I mean, really. Love to see it. Yeah, and for Fredonia, yeah, they bad field position, but they made Randolph take a ton of time off the clock and didn't allow a point. Now they're going back to work. Now they just. Uh, Empty back. Keep on it and on. Right Make sure you don't turn here. the ball over. It's a tie White. Are we going back to that again? My guess. Late flag. Looks like a face mask, maybe. Maybe more than the Oh, no, holding. Uh, it's on rush, maybe. Against the Phillies. That's that replay. Rush on the outside. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. He grabs with his right hand at the end there. Man, that's a ticky tack call. Yeah. Yeah. Can't extend your arms as a lineman. That's, I think that's where they got him. Rush is dominating the game enough. They figure they don't need a little hold of two. <laughs> A couple of the younger football players walking in, cheering on the varsity team. You'll update. 
they declined the penalty. Guess they didn't want to give them an extra down. Yeah. That would have pushed them pretty big. Actually, it's attack. only probably be half the distance to the goal. So That's they figure, wide, yeah, they yeah. figure they don't want to lose the down. Second down and eight then for the Hillbillies. off to Gullo this time and he's Braylene Adams is all over him. Nice to see getting Gullo some carries, getting his some experience there. It's a good move by the coaching staff. Yeah, there was a hole there, but uh, Adams and Braley were out there to close that gap up quick. Yeah. So third and long here. See if they go to the air. Motion. A little throw it out to him. Nice catch by Quinn. He's going to have more than enough for the first down. Great, great call there by the Hillbillies. Send, uh, send your number one receiver in motion. Shotgun right to him, wide open, makes a nice short catch on the short throw. Yeah, that's not easy to do either. When you're running away from the ball, it's a little behind oh, you. Down yeah. by I, I've been impressed with Quinn tonight. He's made some nice catches. Would have been nice if he stayed in bounds, but you know, that we'll uh, work on yeah. that. Maybe something they look to in the film. Going back to this quad formation. We talked about they saw us the end of the half. Yeah, they got Hine, Bell. They got one more Brown. guy over there this time than they did. They're doubling Quinn over here. Oh, Gullo drops it. And good job yeah. by White throwing that over Farnham's head because he read that. And you see that, and that could have easily been a pick six if he just threw like a typical quick pass yeah, out to him. Yeah, if he threw that line drive, that would have been picked, but he was able yeah. to lob it over the defender's head and go just yeah. took he, his eye off it, hey. started to run before the catch. He's, that's class. Yep. He's, he saw the open field that he wanted to run towards it. And I, you know, I always love when team uses the wide side of the field as well, so it's a good play call. Sure. Again, it's good to get Gullo some experience at this point in the game. He took last year off from football. Tonight's his first varsity football game ever. Gullo on the carry, a little delay, not much there. Right, it's gonna bring up third and long. What about some of these officials tonight, too, and their fatigue? It's a long night for them out I, there. I have seen them getting a, a few swigs of water there yeah. from uh, the, the water boys as well, so. We're down in 10. Big play here. Yeah. Keep, uh, to keep the, this offensive possession going, not get the ball back to the Cardinals. Oh. Good, good catch there, there by, by Quinn. Yeah, I can't believe he was able to even hang on to that, but great closing yeah. tackle speed by Farnham there. Those are the ones you dream of if you're a defensive back. And that'll but bring on the punt team. Smart play to punt. Field yeah, position game absolutely. here. The rest of the time. Up 20. One pass is complete. Comes up with fourth down and six. And they bring Azrod out to long snap. He's uh, he's uh, coming out there slow. And we got uh, Missing a guard on that. We have Bacher out there to punt. Ooh, his knee was almost. Oh, they did rule him down. Ooh, huge. And I, I hate to say this, but I think the team might have had something to do with sure, that. With, sure. with that snap, it was oh, a low yeah. snap. Bacher put his knee down to pick the ball up, and that's going to be where he was down. I wonder if it's because of Rush's uh, knee injury head back in baseball, um, end of the baseball season. 
uh, why he's not punted, because he's punted for this team for two, three years now, and he's done an excellent job. I think that must, that must have something to play with it. Well, he was an A. Bakker wasn't even able to get that. No, 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 no. But it just it surprised me to see Bakker back there tonight. Yeah. Um, he's trying to get the right players on. And, why not make this long game just a wee bit longer? <laughs> We're at two hours and 25 minutes right now. And we got about five and a half left in the fourth quarter here. <laughs> hey, we're getting our money's worth here tonight. Absolutely. Boys. Uh, Randolph's going to get the ball with excellent field position, and they uh, haven't scored this half, so they are uh, going to need to change something up here. Fredoni's done a great job on defense here in the second. And uh, once again, zero passes by Randolph, so we'll see if uh, they get one out there. Five and a half minutes left in the game. Coaches even walking off the field a little slow. <laughs> Coaches need to hydrate too. Yeah. That's a new formation here for Randolph. Smartle on another carry. Good job by Glavy and Colin Kroll pursuing from behind. Sorry, no, that's, uh, that's rush. Owen Rush. Yeah. He's going to come off. Yeah. He start. Pocker comes that, in for him. He's yeah. gonna he's gonna need to get stretched out as well. And it looks like Dobby looks like he's gonna be done. Dobby White's done on defense for the day. I would hope so. You know, the last thing you want to do is your starting quarterback get hurt up by 20. There Good play there by Lagroy. Morrison kept it that time, but uh, will be a holding story. Got tackled in the backfield. Um, and that's that's gonna the break only way you can stop yeah, him. Yeah, right. And that's going to be like that. He's deep in the backfield and it's 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So that's going to, that's really going to hurt. That's going to hurt that good field position they had, you know? Yeah. They're going backwards, not forwards here right now. I do love to see it. That's gonna back him up pretty bad, too. Yeah. I think they were generous on where they walked that off from. Yeah, the story they're gonna be back deep. all the way to the 35. Yeah. They gotta get to the 12 for the first down. I want them to pass it to a man down here, Dominic Clark, but they haven't, like looked, they haven't looked his way all game. Here's the size. <laughs> oh, it is there a pass is. play. He was open. Great coverage there oh. by Luca Gullo. Swatted away by number three. Mike Ball. Mike Ball, good defense in the secondary. I thought he could have made a little better play, but he was there to knock it down. Yeah, they got a couple. Oh, no. It's basically still the starters going there for Fredonia on D. Yeah, they've been subbing in and out quite a few guys, but yeah, there's still a lot of starters out there for sure. Is this going to be a delayed game? Some confusion going on out there. I think uh, the Cardinals end up calling timeout. Must be, yes. They finally marked, singled that. And uh, so in their first <laughs> time out of the half. Oh boy. 
again, everyone, thanks for tuning in. The game's getting a little long here at the end, but it's really overall, obviously there's a ton of things to work on. It's great film for these coaches to work on, really on both sides. There's some good plays by both teams, offensively, defensively, even special teams. But it's a really good first win for Fredonia. Um, some of their arch rivals, Southwestern, got beat up pretty bad today by CSP, which any Fredonia fan never cries about a Southwestern loss. Salamanca got beat up pretty bad by Franklin Ellicottville. So two Class D teams beat two of the stronger Class C teams. Um, and then again, Maple Grove, Castanega Funker had a great win last night. So who could only play oh, Another nice passing week. play. Did he catch that? That's a great catch there. Wow, we're going to have to see a replay. Yeah. We're going to have to see a replay on that one. And that, that wasn't even tipped. bad coverage by Ball either there. He just he got out there. jumped, I, really. I think he caught it when he was already on the ground. Let's see. Cameron, catch up. Catch up. Look at this, he goes up one oh. hand and it pulls it in. Glavey and Ball are all over him. Great play by Baker Huntington. Yeah, you, sometimes you just gotta say, hey. Tight end. Yeah, give the big man some credit on that one. It's something you don't see in Perdoni's offense, tight end. I uh, know. <laughs> they did not have that possession. Position. <laughs> And another timeout. Well, it's fourth down here, 347. You, you're trying to build some sort of uh, momentum or something to build off. Overcoming third down in a mile at the end of the game and getting a score would be a good way to do that. Second time out of the half. That's the Fredonia's uh, side. That's their second time out of the half. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, let's see if uh, Randolph can keep it going here. Get uh, one more yeah, score yeah. before this game ends. They're going to need a first down well, Randolph's here. Randolph's sake, you're, you're kind of rooting that they're able to build off of this and. Uh, and uh, yeah, execute agree. this play right agree here. More. Fourth down and five to Randolph. Ball on the 17-yard line for Hillbilly. Hand off oh. up the middle. Sam is in the backfield, almost had him. And I'm saying no. He's going to be short They're based saying on no. the Perdone box. Saying no, is saying no. Based on the box, he's going to be short. Let's see if the box is right. Officials are looking, they're gonna call for, wait they're for bringing them in. They're bringing them in, they're bringing in the chain game, they're calling <laughs> for it. And Fredoni is a little frustrated with that and they think it's clearly, clearly short. Yeah. If they're right, they have nothing to worry about. And uh, yep, there's 3.39 left here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> it's the longest fourth quarter. A lot of injuries, a lot of, yeah, do you think and you it's know? short. Great job by the defense there for the Hillbillies. And it looks like they're gonna bring in Quinn. To, oh. Never mind, I thought they were gonna maybe bring him in to just finish up at quarterback. But I see White out there getting ready. 339. Some of the problems with CFD schools, it's hard to sub everyone and put a team out there that can get a snap off. You know, like it, but on the other hand, you have White, Ants Rot, and all these linemen and stuff still in the game, and, and Quinn, and if they get hurt here, it just seems so foolish. You know, it's a it's a real catch twenty two. Yeah, and they don't have a a bur like a power eye play to burn your burn your timeout. Right. So you, and there goes Quinn around the end. And 
and uh, there was an inside handoff. So that's a catch and run. Did he flip it to yep. him? Yeah, he that's did. That's a catch that's and a run. Catch. Love that for the receivers. Yeah, the quarterback. <laughs> Good job by Quinn switching the ball to his outside hand there. Yeah. Like to see that. Always, that's an important, important play. Always, always nice to do that. I've noticed uh, a couple players not doing that tonight, but. Nice, uh, nice run there by Azrod. He's gonna get about nine on that one. As the clock ticks away, closing down on three minutes. And it's also really nice. The Prona coaching staff I've noticed has had their iPads. They're getting, they're getting the replays as they are at, right as that's and, like and that honestly, is football the, at its the finest last, in 2023 like the last two years at the stadium they couldn't get the ipads to work especially and, last year such a close game they couldn't make any adjustments seeing what's going on at the line of scrimmage and it i really think it hurt them because the blocking schemes they could have been able to adjust them and maybe get a little bit more of the running game going so now it's the same play to another Gullo pitch going to Gullo. the other side. Like great speed on himself, but again going out of oh. bounds. Did he go and he went into the bleach? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. And that unfortunately that's gonna that's that's no bueno. Didn't see who was over there, but yeah. he got over. I saw a bench go over, and uh, Ken watched the replay here to see. Uh oh, the, if, uh, attempt field. It looks see. like field is blocking. He gets tackled. He goes over the bench, and, and then it's yep. And then they so, wouldn't. Yeah. So now, now hopefully field didn't get ejected because if he's ejected going to be all next week as well. Yes. And, and they have a big game next week, league game. And the, the Randolph Faithful is not too happy about that one. They uh, seem to... I didn't see what... Seem to be some... Uh, yeah. Some back and forth by the fans here. Uh, but we got to remember this is high school football, so we yeah. do love sportsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna, it, that is gonna be on Fredonia. They're gonna back him up. I personally, it looked like both both teams, both players are going at it. Yeah, it's so never smart. Staying on the sideline, though. Yeah, that's. It's, it's never smart to get into scuffles like that, especially this late in a oh, game. It no. really hurts both teams. But also, you guys are wearing helmets. Yeah, yeah, right. Hey, go ahead, you know, so. It just, you know, that's a tough one into the into the opposing bench. They've yeah. been fighting all it's game. Luke Gullo's okay, too, because he went flipping over the bench. He made a there. nice athletic play to yeah. miss the bench. Yeah. And then it looked like he stumbled into the the bleachers. It and should the, be a first down, and then, and I then, yeah, I think the that's play. what they're talking about. So it really should be first down here, and then it's the penalty from the spot of the foul back, Rip. first down for Donia, but. It doesn't look like they're adjusting it. Yeah, they're coming out at Because that, that was after the they're play. Out, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Chan. Yeah, unless they're saying it wasn't after the play, but it certainly appeared to be long after the play. Gullo was flipping over the bench yeah, where the it, penalty it, happened. So that's true, after yeah. the play, yeah. And, you know, that just prolonged the game a little longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah why not? And uh, closing in on two minutes here, though. It's going to be third down here for the Nobles. I would think, you know, we already said Davi White was over 100 yards. 
and I, I would think Azrat too. So you're definitely gonna have two rushing, uh, two runners, running backs, and two backs for Fredonia having over 100 yards rushing tonight. And I'm gonna guess Quinn might be, with a couple of those inside handouts, might be close to 100 yards receiving as well. He had yeah, probably he, all purpose yards. He's oh, definitely, def a, definitely all, all purpose. Yeah, he's had a nice game. Oh, yeah, he had a nice drive where he was quarterback. Yeah, he had rushes, so. rushes as well. Nice cut. I just don't see why and I think yet. that's going to end the game here for the Hillbay. That first down was huge. They gave it to their workhorse, Sam, and he was able to, to get the first down. All right, and now a sub 56 for Fredonia is going in. That's Ryan Profit. Coming in 6'5", 220, senior. Love that. And it's ticking down. Oh, he's going to go under center. This is, oh, okay. And I think one more of those will do the trick. Yeah, well, a, a, a nice start to the Fredonia season. Uh, it, it's a big win. Anytime you beat Randolph Cardinal, it's, it's a good win. I mean, yeah. They're, they're a great it program. It doesn't matter what class. They're very well coached. Again, it, it's a tough first matchup for them, losing all the starters that they lost last year to come play Fredonia. But you got to give Fredonia players a lot of credit for these guys that change in their roles tonight and, and coming out first time starting quarterback, first time starting running back and so on and play so well. Yeah, so and I I think the coaches know how important this win is against a program like Randolph as well. So you don't usually see this game on our schedule, but it's, yeah. it's, a, nice, it's a nice win here for the Hillbillies. It was a little slow there at the end, but it was a nice ball game by both teams and uh, glad the Hillbillies got the victory. Thank you Absolutely. Give a big shout out to our crew Anthony Derby, Jackson Hickey, Cody Decker, Jim Rebold, uh, and of course Pat Mahaney, star of the show. And uh, great job by everyone, great job by the Hillbillies. Uh, you know, they had probably three players over 300, each over 100 all purpose yards. So there's no nothing to be ashamed of there. Just putting up 41 points against a Randolph defense. Okay, and Jackson, we're gonna be showing you, let's end with some highlights that you guys, fans, can enjoy at the end. It's a nice new feature we put together, so Jackson, whenever you're ready, you can let those roll. There we go, back again. Hey, it seems like forever ago, but there's the first touchdown for Fredonia this season, Dobby White. to be here at the Elgin Bowl to start the season off. All right, good night everyone, and Fredonia will take on the Herd, the new mascot of the Maple Grove Casadega Faulkner team, and uh, I think that's right back here next week. It'll be a big, it's a matchup, so hope to see you then. Good night everyone.